Hello, welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Joe Rillards and it is Wednesday, which means one thing, creative cravings. It's that time of the week where we whet your appetite. If you are fairly new to crafting, maybe you're an experienced crafter and you're thinking about branching out and trying something new, then Wednesday and Creative Cravings really is the show for you because what we're gonna do is really break things down, really explain things and ensure that you understand exactly what is happening. And of course, we've got great deals for you as we go through the show too. If you are watching us on Facebook, absolutely, I want you to go over to Crafters TV on Facebook. We've got a new Facebook site there for you and that's where I'll be monitoring the comments and you can join the conversation and comment along. Any comments or questions that you might have, make sure you drop into uh, the comments on that page. Give it a like as well, because that's where you're gonna get all the backstage goss and all of our giveaways and all of that lovely stuff that's coming up here on Crafters TV. If you wanna shop as well as watch, then you need to head over to our website, crafterscompanion.whereveryouare.co.uk if you're in the UK, .com, or if you're in Europe, of course, .eu. It is a great place to watch and shop along. Now, something else that we always do on Wednesdays on Creative Cravings is just ask Joe. Now, I've been looking and trawling through the social pages of Crafters Companion. I've got lots of questions in there, but is there anything that you want to know? A burning question that you might have that we could get answered for you in this show, then drop into the comments on the Facebook Live and I will endeavour to get them answered for you over the next couple of hours. Now don't fear, I'm not here on my own for the next couple of hours. I always need a fabulous crafty expert with me and I've got one of those. <laughs> I've got my good friend Debbie Robinson Hello. with me. How are you? Hello. Come on, I'll let me get up. How are you? Very much. I'm fine, thank you very much. You having a lovely day? I am indeed. I'm been playing away all afternoon. Have you? Yes. Doing lots of lovely, lovely crafting. Uh, loads coming up in this show. What are you most excited about? Oh, do you know how? I was trying to pinpoint which one. I'm excited about it to be all, all of it, to be honest, Joe, because yeah. we've got some great things coming up. Some of my personal favourite dyes ever coming up first. Mm. And then I'm going to show. Can I give a little sneak Ooh, peek? Oh, I think, yeah, can just a, a little sneak sneaky peek? peek, yeah. So we've got, some, we've got some other dyes coming up later on the show, but I'm going to show you how to use them to make a very own little, what we call a spinning card, Ooh. Joe. I thought we'd go a little bit different with this one and have a little spinning card using our nesting dies. Oops, I've given you a little hint of what's coming up. Mm -hmm. So, but definitely stay tuned because I've got loads planned to show you with everything that's, uh, that's on the show. Loads of people dropping into the comments already. Kirsten says, oh, you two sweeties. Um, oh. We make shopping too easy. We do make shopping very <laughs> easy for you here at Crafters TV. Uh, Kirsten says, hi from Germany. Hello from New Lexico, says Liz. Julia from Colorado is here already. I can see Helen from Ipswich, June from Norwich. Um, someone is here from Sunny CT. 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 Is that somewhere in America? CT is, but I can't think which one it is. It was the abbreviation for which state. Come back and let us know, Anne, uh, let us know uh, which state that is. Do drop into the comments. Do let us know where you're watching from uh, and what you're up to today. Patricia from Nebraska is here as well. And uh, Louise from West Sussex. Um, oh, I'll be reading the comments from... Uh, it's Connecticut. That's where it is. Matt oh. Cam's on hand. Oh. Thank you, Matt Cam. Yeah, um, yeah. I will be reading the comments in the Crafters TV uh, Facebook page. That's where, from now on, we'll be monitoring the conversations. Yes. We used to have to try and monitor the UK ones and the USA ones. Got now they're confusing. all here. We're all one big crafty family now here in the Crafters TV ones. I can see Alejandra is also here from Washington State and also Debbie from South Florida is oh, saying hello I as well. I thought you meant me then. I'm I, bet I, it's wish, I wish I were in South Florida. It sounds beautiful. It does, doesn't beautiful, it? We get yes. our tan on in South Florida. Should we dive in and have a look at what's coming yeah, up in the next definitely. couple of hours? There is loads on the way for you. So up first, we've got the Gemini Cut on Edge Create a Card Dies. These are great. They're one plus one, as always. Then we've also got for you the Gemini nesting dies they are coming up for you lots of exciting demos in, with those ones the spinny card that debbie just showed you that's where you'll find those but they are versus on great for a whole host of different things uh, we've also got some gemini stamp and dies for you as well they'll be coming up a little bit later then something we always look forward to in the second <laughs> half of the show i've got my air horn ready <laughs> i can see the fear on debbie's face yes it's definitely. our five in five five deals in five minutes it's quick it's fast it's frantic 
and it's funny. great fun, but there's also some really great deals to be had Ooh. in the five in five. Oh, there really is. I'm really excited about this one. Not so excited about... He had me limbering up before we started to get ready for it. Just stretching. Really a few stretching, trying to get me in some yoga poses. If you want to see Debbie's warm up, pop on over to the uh, Crafters TV Instagram uh, and have a look at our stories. And you can see Debbie doing a bit of pre show <laughs> yoga and a bit of limbering up over there. It were a want. little bit of limbering up, it were. Although, to be fair, I did most of my limbering up last night, Joel. Oh, well, <laughs> well, what does that mean? <laughs> can you? engage brain before right. the mouth. We were both staying in the house last night, so I would like Debbie to elaborate on what she means by this. So, we both were in the house and we've had all these lovely new things with boxes. And obviously, you were tired last night, so you went to bed early, I didn't did. you? So I thought, right, I'm going to do a bit of limbering up and I'm going to get rid of all these boxes. So that's yes. what I'm doing. I'm all flat packing everything. Just needed a woman's touch, didn't I? I have. I've given it a nice woman's touch now Good. as well. So, yeah. So that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> but it's lovely. We've got us all... And now we've got the oven, we now got the oven working as well. Uh, yes. I came was, home last night, Debbie was there and she was like, I don't know what's going on with the oven. It just, it's not cooking. Not I was cooking like, things. click, click, click. There you go. <laughs> I'm not going it on properly. I'm not going it on the yeah. right temperature. Haddon, we are going to have a lot of fun in this show. Don't forget, I can see loads of you uh, commenting uh, on the Facebook Lives already. So make sure you drop into there. Don't forget as well about Just Ask Joe. We bring it to you every single uh, Wednesday here in Creative Cravings. So it's a great chance for you to ask me any questions. I've got lots of questions that you've been asking me uh, on social media, and we'll be bringing those up a little bit later in the show. But it could be anything big or small crafting related. It could be about Valentine's Day. There could Ooh, be challenges. Yes. It oh. could be anything, really. It could be oh, absolutely anything. I've got any, how many Valentine's cards are you sending this year, Debbie? Not one. None. Not mm. one, no, no. There's still time. I know there is. I know. I could send you one, could I? I could send Matt one as well. Yeah. I could send a few. Yeah. I could. I could. I could put a few here and there everywhere. Yeah. Spread I used the love. to send them to me kids when they were younger. Did you? Know? My yeah, mum used to yeah, send them to, make to sure me. They yeah. Always had one, but. I think they'll do fine this year by themselves. They're not okay. going to need any mum's helping hand. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, don't forget as well about our new social channels too. So uh, over on Facebook, uh, you'll find Crafty TV and also on Instagram as well. Now, something else uh, that we offer you great discounts in these shows and in these uh, that we bring you here on Crafters TV. However, if you want a bit more discount, you want to be in an exclusive elite mm. club, oh, then yes. you need to sign up to Club Inspire. Take a look. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1,500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Phew, 
I nearly didn't make it in time, even though it were a couple of minutes, just because I was trying to find some things I saw as being in here this morning and Craig and I, I think little fairies may have taken things away from us. However, what they haven't took away is this fabulous first deal that I've got with possibly one of my favourite die sets ever. The concept behind it, the creator card concept is just phenomenal and I've got some really fabulous three beautiful dyes here for you at that oh I mean look at this these are beautiful so each one of those 10 pounds or 15 dollars you are saving yourself 30 percent so we have a Mendy a mandala and floral dreams now I'm going to show you exactly how you use those in a moment however I've got Another fantastic deal on today with glue. Well, we call it an essential essential card and glue kit. Everything you need to be able to, to help work alongside with this gorgeous set of three dies that I've got with the creator card. So we've got craft card. We've got our luxury cardstock, which is the ice blue in colour. We've got a With Love Expressions die. And we also have a tape pen as well, which I think is awesome. Awesome. And look at that price. The price itself is just phenomenal because I know what it costs for one for one pack of the luxury cardstock. It's £10 on its own. Then you've got that craft card as well and then you've got those other things. So it really is something to think about that works beautifully as well with those dies that we've just mentioned. And let's talk about these dies. I want to talk a little bit more in detail about these dies. Each design comes... And in fact, let me go, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you here. We'll start with the Mendy. So if I just come in, there you can see now. There we go. I'll get it right in a moment. You'll just have to bear with me for one second. Absolutely fabulous. We have got the Mendy die. Now, it's got three, three parts to this, this um, die set. This cuts out. In fact, we'll start with this one. We'll start with this edge closely there so you can see. It cuts straight directly into cardstock. So it means there's no outside cutting edge. That in itself, beautiful. But because you've got another part of the die, what you're actually going to do is cut the decorative part out, but then you have a further die that cuts the outside edge of this die side only. So it means for the edge of cards, for gatefold cards, uh, for invitation cards, there's lots of ways you can use it. Now there is the third part of the die. So you've seen the decorative part, you've got the outside outside edge but then we also have this outside edge which creates that third part and you can then have it as a topper you can cut out in your oh, imagine cutting that out in your lovely ice blue that would look absolutely phenomenal now that's the mendy and so you can see the price straight away you're saving yourself 30 percent today that's not with your club inspire on top 10 pounds 15 dollars a fantastic saving look at this one this is the floral dreams now it's the same concept for each of these dies you've got three parts to them so we're cutting straight into the cardstock on its own with that fabulous design absolutely fantastic it's beautiful with the outside edge again you're going to be able to create this part and then really look at all that detail but with the third die you're going to be able to cut out the whole section to create uh, a topper if you want so you're cutting into your cardstock out of your cardstock the choice is yours this is why it comes under the create a card range because it's exactly that it creates so many different it's a, the most versatile range of dies we do now this one is the mandala look at the mandala how beautiful is that same concept to get where it cuts into the cardstock you've got the outside cutting edge and then all of it cutting out all together absolutely beautiful so you've seen those in great detail what i want to show you is what you can use so the first thing i've shown you i'm going to show you is this one here let's get in there close so you can see how beautiful that is using that onto just black cardstock and then using your gilding waxes you've got this gorgeous detail going all the way around but bringing it out look this is what you can do because you can take it and yeah, I bet you I bet you all thought then that that was going to be um, a cut on the edge uh, side card, but it isn't. It's an easel card. So you've got all those beautiful details there. I'm going to show you other ways that you can use it using the die. You're going to be able to create your own shape blank card. Now, by that, I mean, look, look at this. You've got them outside edges to be able to create that lovely shaped card. 
absolutely phenomenal with all the other detail into the craft card now remember what i talked about at the very beginning cutting into craft card straight away just cutting that panel in and then adding a few embellishments absolutely fabulous i'm going to show you another one this style look at that because you're going to be able to create it so it stands up all on its own you've got it cutting into the cardstock use some of the pattern papers in the background again really beautiful i'll show you a couple more designs because this is the kind of phenomenal thing you can do this one is one of our gatefold cards i say a gatefold double gatefold card where you can really go big and you've got that fabulous design where it cuts through the cardstock and then on the outside edge as well. Really beautiful. Now, snippability factor. If you think about it, you've got all these gorgeous flowers. Get your little scissors in there and cut them out. You're going to be able to add a little uh, 3D effects. Now, one more I'm going to show you. I guess I want to show you this one because of that gorgeous craft card that we have. Don't forget that essential uh, cardstock that works beautifully with this set of dies um absolutely awesome look at that in craft card and black what more do you need that looks absolutely stunning so there's some of my favorites i mean i had loads i could i could literally spend the full two hours showing you absolutely everything however i think the best way is to talk about the die and let's see how simple they are to use so i'm going to grab my plates I'm going to get, I'm going to use my big Gemini. Our Sarah's been using uh, the little Gemini that's uh, coming out tomorrow. It is coming out tomorrow. Oh, Debbie, what are you doing? You've got your dies here. Put them to one side, girl. I've got my die here. Now, this is the Mendy die that I'm using. You can see here, and I'm going to open it up where I can show you how this works. So you've got three pieces of metal for your money. The decorative part, what cuts in. And then, oh, let me bring that in so you can see it closer. Oh, look at the detail there. Can you see all that phenomenal detail? This really is beautiful. Now, this is the Mendy. I love all three. I think all three are fabulous and work beautifully, no matter how you use them, whether you're cutting in or cutting on the edge or cutting it as an edge ball or cutting a topper out, they all work really beautifully. Now, I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock for this part. I should have used my craft card. I forgot all about using that craft card. I should have used my craft card. However, I'm going to show you how simple it is to use these. Now, I'm going to bring in, and the reason I'm bringing in my metal plate for this one, my metal shim, is if you think about this, and if you look at this, the law of averages, there are lots of cutting points all the way across there. So for me to get a nice, crisp, clean cut, I'm going to use my metal plate straight away. I've taken some of our cardstock and I've already scored this and brought it into size. Now, I'll tell you the size of the die so that you have a rough idea just how big this is. This is nearly five and a, in fact, it's 5.25, we'll get that right, by, ooh, nearly four. So you can see the size by four inches by 5.25. That's the big die in itself. However, to use it could not be simpler. So, oh, I think, I think I'm having, um, Think I'm gonna have a little little guest joining me. Ah, oh, Joe's gonna oh, come in. That <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come in and join me, Where so I can show me? you. You could stand there, my darling. Oh, thank you. I'll stand there. right here. You can stand there. You, you close to the machine so that you can help me. Well, you know, talking to the machine, you know, there's ten percent off on the Gemini. Is there today. really? Yeah. So if you don't have a Gemini, Ooh. if you've been thinking about it, today would be a great chance to get yourself. Stocked up 161.50 if you're in the UK, two two four fifty if you are in the US. So saving ten percent. It's very rare that we discount that big Gemini. To be fair, Joe, that that's true. We don't often do that. So yes, grab yourself one while you can. Don't forget, you get all the start kit and you get all your plates absolutely. as well. Absolutely, loads so you of get extra absolutely value. Absolutely, loads of extras uh, in Debbie there. Debbie is saying fabulous uh, samples. Uh, Patricia saying floral dreams is her favourite. It's um, beautiful. It is gorgeous. That one. Uh, uh, Jilly is saying hi. She's watching hi, in the Jilly. hospital. Uh, <laughs> loads of people tuning in. Lots of questions for Just Ask Joe. I'll just keep getting those in. Uh, also, Ruth in North Devon is saying hi too. Hi, Ruth in North Devon, one of my favourite places. Right, Joe, so shall I show doing? you how to use this? Can I put it through? Of course you can. I've never put it have through. You never put, have you never put a play through a machine? No. Oh, we'll let you. We'll let Seeing you. as it's Wednesday, you know. Of course, and it's all about creative it cravings. Is. It's about learning something new. Um, so, all I've done, Joe, is I've placed my... Um, my, my 
detailed part of the die straight into the cardstock. And what size is your card blank here? My card, oh yeah, I like to test me now, don't you? I was right, it's, No, it's fine. I have taken, um, it is five and a half by six. I Wonderful. have and folded that in half. So, well, you doubled that actually, if you think about it. Yes, I know yeah, what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Right, so I'm going to place the die face down over here. And I'm going to show, let me see if I can get there so I can see what I'm doing. Right, there we go. Pop that on the edge. Now, we've got this outside cutting edge as well, the detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these down together. Now, there's no way, no right or wrong way for this. If you prefer to cut the panel out first mm. and then add that one, you can do. Okay. However, I trust my low tack tape. I trust my Gemini. <laughs> And I have got one blue Peter style already made up, just in case um, it, uh, it falls off the, the low tack tape. However, let me tell I've got my low tack tape ready. I'm going to place that over the top and then I'm going to just hold that in place. And I'm making sure that this outside die edge is not going underneath this patterned part. Okay. Because if... Will you damage it then? Yes, the you will damage your die. You will definitely. Now, I've placed that on and I've popped the low tack tape on. If you've noticed I've got it on, if I show it you this way, you've noticed I've got it slightly on a hangle. On the wonk. On the wonk, yeah. yes. Now the reason I've done that, Joe, is there is a lot of cutting points on this part of mm. the die. So what I want to do is make sure I get a nice even pressure when I'm coming across. Now I'm then placing on my plastic shim, my magnetic shim, and then lastly, my cutting plate. Okay. And then, that's the sandwich, right, so are you ready? Yeah. And you hold that and you feed that through the mouth of the machine and that let that do the work and you can let go. Oh, well, that was easy. You can let go. You don't have to hold it. See, that this does all the hard work. How easy is that? Yep, you just feed that through. And do you know what else you can do? And I think I, think I heard that change. You can stop it. Right. And you can reverse oh. it. Back it up. Absolutely. So you get the, in here you're going to get uh, the six Gemini plates, you're going to get your storage bag, we as, get a storage well, bag as well, including Ooh. two, you do. Um, oh. So, you know, and you, that's that's really great value that you're getting all of that Absolutely. included. And great Absolutely. if you're starting out. I mean, the great thing is about having the big one, if it, everything, everything we currently sell will go through here. So, uh, you know you've got something to do, everything. Which is now, great. I'm going to show you, Joe, so that you can see it, but then I'm going to show Matt close. Look, can you see that oh, yeah. pristine cut and that lovely clean cut? So, if I take that up to Matt, can you see how beautiful that has cut there isn't any place and I, that is because i did put my metal in there it's like that met we talk about that analogy where you're putting metal to metal and it gets that lovely crisp clean cut every time that's why i brought in my metal plate because i know just how detailed mm. this die is this is a really intricate die and they're great value these considering what you can do <laughs> considering you can use them together you could actually could you just use the cutting edge on its own if you just wanted to give yourself just a card absolutely I'm gonna, a fancy I'm, edge i'm going to show you that in a minute it's Wonderful. like one step ahead of me. Three different ways of using it for £10 in the UK, $15 if you're Phenomenal in the price. US. That's saving 30%, which is great. So you've got a great saving on here. You just need to choose. The hardest bit is going to be choosing between the Mandala, the Mendy, or the Floral Dreams. The Floral Dreams is the most popular on Facebook at the moment. Lots of you loving that. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, remember that's where you join the conversation. But if you want to watch and shop at the same time, then you need to on our website, uh, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu is the best place to watch and shop at the same time. Now this, this is the bit that you love doing and I love don't. Love this bit. Do you, you want me love... to do that? Shall I, do you want me to do that bit for you? Well, I was going to say yes, but then I realised I needed the other part of my card. But if you like doing that, Joe, then that's entirely up to you. I can okay. be die cutting something else because I'm going to show you how to use it to cut out on your decorative paper. So okay. do you want to be poking those, yeah, I'll do those that. bits? I'll do the and then we'll come back you. and show you. I just wanted to show you how beautiful that had dropped out of the card. Look at that, clean die. Absolutely beautiful. So that just shows you that lovely um, that dye, how fabulous that is. Literally, look at Joy, you're really concentrating there, my love, aren't you? I love this <laughs> bit, honestly. <laughs> It's you like find it therapeutic, don't you? Very do. I do. It's like However, mindfulness. I love I it. Like, I like my brush. I have a brush. Which got, and we have these on the website that come with a sponge. I seem to have, yet again, lost another sponge. I think it's something to do with me all the crammed bag. Well, you'll be able to stock up. If you can get them on the yes, website, you'll you be fine. you can. And do you know the wonderful thing about these as well, Joe, is they have a replacement head. Right. So I've bought I've bought tools in the past where you can't, you've got to, yeah. you've got to buy the whole thing again. However... Oh, I'll just hold that there. Sorry, Matt, I didn't realise you were coming in close. Uh, you can take this edge off and replace it. So once the bristles have gone and they start to wear, you can take it off and it comes in a pack of three. 
Absolutely oh, fabulous, yes. Which is good, because let's, let's face it, throwing stuff away is not good for the planet, it is. is it? So it's great that you can, yeah. um, you can get those uh, replacement parts. Uh, the floral is the favourite on Facebook, and it is the favourite no on the website as well. It is the uh, most popular one of them all. In fact, do you oh, know what? I might, shall I take, do you know why you're poking? Shall I do that? Yes. Let me get my floral dreams. I'm going to pinch. I'm going to pinch a bit of this gorgeous, and I'm the reason I'm oh, bringing Debbie, this in. Never, I want to never change. <laughs> never change. Um, I've done it. I've finished it. Um, Have you finished it? You could use that as a. Could you spritz through that if you wanted to? Of it's course, like a you bit can of a stencil, stencil as well. I could have stenciled through that part straight away, Joe. Mm. I'm going to try and get some of this beautiful cardstock. Really gorgeous. I love and this. mandalas. You know, this a whole kind of theme that you've got here. Oh, you absolutely. You could turn that. That almost could be like a fancy peacock as well. But can we can we show them closer? Can we get in yeah. closer so you can see this gorgeous design? Should I hold Look, that behind? Yeah, hold that. Behind it, then you can really see how beautiful. Look at that. Look at the detail in this die alone. And this is just one of those dies at £10. I know what these cost when we first brought these out, mm. Joe. £10 is a cracking price. Or is that $15 that says there? $15. 30% altogether. Look at that beautiful detail. And that really didn't take that much effort, did no, it? At absolutely. All. I know That's a lot it. of you will be going for all three of these. £30 in the UK to get all three. $45 if you wanted to get all of them. So great to be able to get the whole collection there for such an affordable price. And what's nice is what you could do is maybe... Maybe you're going to do um, invitations or something yeah. like that. Maybe you don't want them all to absolutely match, but you want them to all be of the same theme. Yeah. And you could just use all three of them. You could use all three different designs to have them sort of of a similar theme without them being all the same, which was always uh, a nice way to go. Lots of love for these uh, on Facebook as well. Um, someone saying, uh, Michelle's saying, I plan to use one of these to make a double gatefold card for an upcoming wedding. Thank Ooh, you, Debbie, for the absolutely. idea. Alejandra says, thank you for explaining the sandwich. I just got my, I'm using this very intently, aren't I? This <laughs> pokey tool. Uh, <laughs> uh, she says she just got her Gemini, so thanks for explaining uh, the sandwich. Love poking the card says Carol it's so therapeutic uh, which is lovely loads of Pleasure. you on here dropping in letting me know where you're from keeping us company on this Wednesday evening or Wednesday morning absolutely now you are. I've just heard Laura telling us that the floral dream is one of the popular ones now, I've used it some is. of that lovely luxury card that beautiful ice blue and I'm using the whole part of this now so I've, I've got the decorative part laid down yeah Joe I've got one of the cutting edges there and then the other cutting edge as well now I really am going going at it with this one because so three dies you get in three the floral you, each one and i just want to show you so that you've got that topper element now i'm going to just bring those together pop that down there and then if i just low tap take that one let me just make sure that that gets in there just let me just so me just four different in. combinations when you really? think about it yeah do you know when you think about it joe there's a lot of combinations on mm. how you can use them you've seen some of those beautiful samples i just want to make sure i've got my tape really oh, there we go perfect so it's on there and again do you want to do the honors oh, do you want yeah, to run this through i feel like i found my calling now debbie that's it now this is why we've got you in here that's we've got it. You. <laughs> now what Chief you do is cutter. and i'll give you a little bit of a hint yeah. as well because i've done it in the past yeah make sure your plates are flush together when okay. you're putting it in your machine so just feed that through fabulous Feed it through. So when I say flush, I'm meaning that you have got anything. Yeah, that you what happens if they're a bit wonky then? Well, if they're a bit wonky, you may do some plate damage. Okay. So you may take corners off the like edge Greek of your wedding. magnetic sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. So it's just making sure your plates are nice and flush. It's one little top tip I give to people oh, when they're using the top tip from our Debbie. I should have one of those light bulbs. Ping! Yeah. One of those, shouldn't I? Now, I'm just going to move that down there for a second, and I'm going to take this off. Oh, I think, I think I've had a little bit of a, uh, a move there. Someone's saying, mind. is the sort of clicking, cracking noise normal when you're putting Ooh. the plates through? That's Eleanor's asking that. Eleanor, totally. Okay. Absolutely. Can I tell you what I would be worried about if you didn't have that? Because the pr it's the pressure of the... And it's the rollers inside the machine that yeah. give that pressure. And if you think about it, you're asking it to push through the cardstock. Mm. So it's pushing through and then it releases at the end. So all those crinkly, crunky noises are natural and normal. Okay. I don't want anybody thinking, I've broke my machine. And I'm telling you, Joe, when I first started using a machine, that's exactly um, what I thought I'd done. Floral Dreams is head and shoulders uh, above the others and it's also the one we have the least amount of stock on so i'm definitely worried about the stock of floral dreams very busy in the show now i know a lot of you as probably sometimes the same if not more of you 
watch after this show yep. has aired. So if you're watching it now in the show, you probably need to be busy for Floral Dreams. If you're watching this later today, I would say check the website on the stock for Floral Dreams. If you've decided you want it, I would hate for you to miss it, um, especially when it is on such a great price. It's £10 in the UK, $15 in the US. And um, the details on the screen at the moment for the Creator Card Essential uh, and Glue Kit, as you can see there, which is also another great offer that we have for you on the show today. What did you do with Pokey Tool, John? Oh, I've got it here. Don't I you worry. Uh, hang on, no, where did I put it? Give me there that Pokey Tool, but that's my Pokey okay. Tool, that Joe. Okay. What you like. So I'm just going to finish oh, Pokey Tool. Do you know what? I'll get you, I'll get you a, well, yeah. your own Pokey okay. Tool. I promise you. I'll bring one up for you. In fact, We'll, we'll make sure we get you a nice little kit. We'll get you crafting before you know it. Oh, yeah, well, I do I like <laughs> to do a bit of crochet, but you know, I have I did make cards a long time ago. I made a few cards. Did you? Yeah, for maybe about um, seven or eight years ago. <gasps> yeah. You do something that I want to do, though. I want to crochet. crochet I'll yeah. teach you to crochet. I would love to crochet. It's one thing I would love to do, uh, and it's something that I never find I never find the time to do. Mm. So yeah, I would really. If you're going to teach, you know, when we've got um, note to do on a night. Yeah. In an evening on the house, I'm going to. When you're at home doing all your limbering. <laughs> Hopefully all that's done now. It's nice. You'll notice the difference when you go in. I tell you, you'll notice the difference. <laughs> oh, you're the gift that keeps on giving, Debbie. Uh, Never change. Sure. <laughs> right, I'm not going to put rest of them out. I'm just going to give you a little indication on how beautiful that is. Look at that. Beautiful. And that is in that gorgeous cardstock, that lovely ice blue pack. How beautiful is that? absolutely gorgeous i i truly love these dies i i know people must think that i sound like a broken record joke because i always go oh i love that i get really excited and really passionate because i do and create mm. a card for me are one of the best ones we've ever done because they're just so versatile mm. the ways that you can use them amazing amazing absolutely great uh, really loads of love for these ellen is saying uh, any keep any tips for keeping the gemini plate plate flat i'll get that out in a minute yes i can so i put mine under my machine to keep it yeah. so, so it weights down on there. Okay. However, the toppest tip I'm going to give you is that such a word? Toppest, toppest tip, tip it is now. Is the flip and rotate. So by that, I'll just use the metal one for an example. When you're using it, you will when you've gone through once, you'll bring it out, flip and rotate. Okay. So and you get into that habit of doing it. So every time you go in, so you'll go into the machine, you bring it out and rotate. So okay. it's a flip and rotate motion every single time and that means it's going to help you keep your plates lovely and straight. And I say straight, you got obviously we are going to be using them, you are going to, what, what I call them... And they still consumer. work when they're a bit of bendy, they don't do, yeah. they? If they do they get do. a bit bendy, as long yes. as you still get them through your machine, absolutely they're going to work. And it's a very hard to damage the machine because all those sensors you've got in there, so don't worry about it. It's a clever it. machine, it's a truly a clever machine, you've got that where it's a proper true edge to edge um, pressure so you get that even pressure all the way along but it's a very clever machine the sensors in there there's two manual sensors and an optical sensor in the back and if it doesn't like the sandwich you're feeding in it will spit it back out absolutely I've never been fed a sandwich I don't like and spat it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10% off that today, 161.50 if you're in the UK, uh, 224.50 if you're in the US. Very rarely do we, you know, discount sort of these core no. items like the big Gemini, so a great time to get hold of it. Right, can I just explain what I did? Because I've already done a Blue Peter Star one, and I'll tell you why I've done a Blue Peter Star one. I've given it a little bit of bling. Oh, <laughs> blinging it up. I've been blinging it up. You, you and me both, we love us we glittering and bling. bling. But what I've done, and I'll just show you now, with that outside edge on that straight edge of the card. So where's that card you beautifully cut out for me, Joe? Oh. What did you do oh, with it? Oh, it's here. Bless your little heart. Oh, I Let's left a, I've in. just found two that I've missed. So. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just going to show you what you would do. So, to take this, now you can keep it like that and then decorate the inside panel. However, to get your shaped blank, you would, you would literally just place it over the edge there, match that up and then tape it down. And then when you tape it down, you'll run that through your Gemini and you will die cut that part out. Okay. And that then brings in that beautiful oh, shape. So another so way of using it. Shape. Yeah, another way. There's nothing wrong with that way. That way looks beautiful. The cutting out of the panel looks beautiful. But to get that beautiful shape where you've got that lovely, oh, I mean, it look, to look at that. Tell you what though, Debbie, oh, I've beautiful. had another idea. Stop the, stop the show because- Stop the show. I've had an idea. Have you? If you wanted to decorate, Yeah this bit here and it was yeah. let me grab it on this bit here 
could you, if you wanted to, put your paper in, and yes. then even if your paper was overlapping, Absolutely. could you use it to cut the card and the paper at the same Absolutely. time? Absolutely, and that's the power of the Gemini. Now, watch further on, stay tuned with us, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of that technique later on in the show. So mm. I want to show you what you can do with it as well, and not being, not being frightened of it. Carol's now, saying she loves your bling, Debbie. Oh, I like, mm. I like a bit of bling, Carol. I love a bit of bling, I'm not going to lie. Now, I've taken some of our pattern cardstock, can I tell you what pad from? Oh, it's from the Lily Collection. Oh, good. well remembered, Nature's Joe. Nature's Garden, well remembered. launching Monday, 7am on Creating Craft. I've been having a play. I've been having a little play. Love so, it. to create this, I've done exactly the same, and I'm just going to show you. I've taken... No, you didn't take that one, Debbie. You didn't take that one. Where's my other one gone? What did I do? I had it in my hand a minute. There it is. So, to create this, I took a piece of that cardstock, and I cut out that edge, and then literally you just fit that now you would take you have to take a little bit of measurement so you get your pencil line and pencil line that's what i do joe i tell you i don't do measurements i take my pencil and i i, do, I use my guillotine to cut it but you can see now you've created that lovely panel now to create the front panel and i'll show you in a moment there oh, i've I used the it, other Debbie. end so can you see now i've taken this end and this is the it would help if I had the right right angle. Let's get this up right. And do you know what? Have I got the right part of the cards? Do you know? Do I get I get worse with age. There we go. Yeah, there it is. To create that lovely panel as well. So you create that beautiful but it's because I've got all my little bits stuck out in here down at side. I've got I've mixed them all up. You and your little bits, they get you in all sorts I of get, troubles, don't I'm, they? I know I get I, they get everywhere. What did I do with my glue? Oh, I pushed it down there. Let's just move that to one side. There bag. you are. Alejandra <laughs> says, is there a right or wrong way to place the die on the plates? Ooh, now that's a, that's a good question. So you will see that all of us have different ways of using them. So by that I mean, and I'm just going to bring this in for a second, I like to cut down into my plate. So okay. I would put my card stock, then my die on the top. And if I just place it there for you, I'm just going to show you this. And this is a really good question, actually. So I'm glad that's being asked. Is that Eleanor, did you say? It was Eleanor, yes. Yep. No, so, it's Alejandra, sorry. Oh, sorry, Alejandra. Oh, that lovely name. Now, put your card stock there. Pop your die with your blade facing down, and I say blade, it should, it should die cut part. Place that down, then you would put the um, plastic one on, because I like to protect my magnetic shim, and then the next cutting plate. However, there's no right or wrong way, it's a choice that you like. So, cutting plate, plastic shim, magnetic shim, the die goes on the top, this time with your blade facing upwards, cardstock on the top, and then your other cutting plate. Now, this is a personal choice, Joe. And anybody, and I will always say this to anybody who buys a Gemini, you find what works for you. Okay. Not the other way around. So if the book tells you to cut upwards, but you don't like it, do what we do. We turn it the other way. All we're doing is reversing the plates. As long as you are... As long as you're comfortable. As long as your blade's face it, f facing? Facing yeah. your hard outer plate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because you, you don't, don't want to make a fridge magnet. No, you don't. You <laughs> definitely don't want to make a fridge magnet. That's the only thing you need to remember. But look online. We've got lots of tutorials. Absolutely. On our website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or, or .eu. And, of course, on YouTube as well. Lots and lots of... Um, inspiration from Crafts and Companion for you there. Pretty much every product we sell comes with some sort of inspiration for you, which is great. It does indeed. Lots of you are uh, loving these dies, very, very busy for them, especially for the floral dreams. Uh, a lot of you shopping ahead of us as well. We're having a very busy show. There's a lot of excitement uh, for the nesting dies, which we're going to be doing next, which we've, um, Debbie's spinny card. Uh, loads of you shopping ahead for those already. Right, so I'm just going to show you now how you create that lovely, and I'm just adding a little bit of bling. Now, don't forget, we do have in that essential kit, we've got this beautiful sentiment. How gorgeous would that look? Now, I did cut one out, Joe. Guess did what's you? happened? Has it gone? It's, I've, just, I've lost it. Don't even oh, ask. No. I, was, I was sat at Jilly's desk and I managed to lose it. Don't oh, even, I've transported it from there to here. I don't know where it's I gone. I think it could be in the However, bag somewhere. It's probably. <laughs> It can I show you is. Debbie's bag? Oh, can I show it? Just try and lift Let me see if I can. I don't know, know if I can lift this it. This is shameful. This is shameful. You can tell that these tote bags are tough. Look at this. Look. Look at that. <laughs> I love Mella. What can I say? Where what can I say? I have, I have to. I've never seen. I've never seen so much stuff 
in one bag. Oh. Listen, can Honestly, I just Honestly, it's like the size of a six-year-old child. <laughs> can, can it's I the weight of one, too. Let me just explain, because I know there'll be a lot of people out there that will, well, they won't be laughing with me because they'll be exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. I have to be well prepared. You do. I was in the girl guides. That's what I always <laughs> say. Now, you can see why I love... Can I go back on these, these gorgeous, gorgeous dyes? Julia's saying everyone it. has made fridge magnets in their time. <laughs> uh, and Eleanor says that very card true. is so beautiful, which is Thank also... Uh, Patricia's very much looking forward to the spinning card. You don't have long to wait, uh, Patricia. We'll be going there in just a moment's time. What a gorgeous card you've made there. Do you want to see that? Yep, because you've got that beautiful, I will just show that again, you've got that gorgeous design where it's cut out. I've just added a little bit of bling and then the cardstock to create that beautiful shape because you've got the elements, you've got those three dies. You've got the die to cut the decorative part out. You've got the die to cut this end out and then also the other end to create that beautiful shaped card. I think I think these are one of the most versatile dies we ever do with the creator card range. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Do you know what the most difficult thing is going to be with these? Deciding which one you're going to go for, which is why I think so many of you have gone for all three of these. Because if you want to go for all three of them, it's still only going to set you back £30 in the UK or $45 in the US, which is exceptional, exceptional uh, value for money. You're saving 30%. So basically, if you've got all three, it's almost like you've paid for two. Absolutely. And we've sent you three, which is fantastic. So they are the Gemini Creator Card, uh, Creator Card Cut on Edge dies. Uh, and of course, if you want to grab those, then go to the website. Um, now, loads of Just Ask Joes are uh, coming in this week. I had one back here a minute ago, and it was from, it was a little bit further up, and it was someone asking if we could do 12 by 12 Centura Pearl. Well, do you know, do we have any 12 by 12 Centura Pearl? No, but we have the A3 packs. Okay, no, we A3 do have packs. the A3 one. But do you know what? I'll ask, what's the worst that can happen? I will ask um, the lovely Leanne and see what she can do. I had um, a lovely question in from uh, Julia earlier on social media, who said, what is my favorite craft? Absolutely, without a doubt, it is crochet. But this year, I am hoping to learn towing as well. So I was having a chat to Bernie, went out for dinner with her the other night, and she said that she is going to uh, give me a little bit of a beginner's lesson. So watch this space. You can keep getting uh, your questions in for Just Ask Joe. Drop them in the comments over on Facebook. I am monitoring the Crafters TV Facebook page at the moment. Remember, we've got brand new social channels for you. So whether it's Crafters TV on Facebook or Crafters TV over on Instagram, make sure you give both of our new pages a follow because that is where we will be monitoring the Facebook feed from now on, answering your questions and interacting with you during all of our live shows. Um, so any more Just Ask shows that you want, drop them into the comments. And don't forget that there's loads of shows for you here on Crafters TV. If you've just found us, welcome. This is our uh, Creative Craving show, which is designed for new crafters or crafters that are maybe looking for a new genre of craft. But don't forget, Monday, we have our Monday Makers shows, which are absolutely bags of fun. And then loads of new products and deals for you every Tuesday uh, during the launch party. And then the first Friday of every month, we have the Craft House as well, where we bring in another really well-known known crafty brand uh, to show off to you as well. Now, let's jump ahead to the next deal, uh, which is these beautiful uh, dies that we've got coming up for you. These are the nesting dies. This is a scalloped edge square collection that you can see just there. But there are loads of these for you. That's just one of them. So that is your scalloped edge square. Uh, we then also have uh, the hexagon scalloped and torn edge collection, which is this one here. Nesting dies, of course, an absolute essential. £18, $23.50 for this one. Uh, we then also have for you as well the circle scalloped and stitch edge die. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Let me try Absolutely. that again. Absolutely. Circle scalloped and stitch edge collection, uh, which is this one here. 18 dies in total. Uh, it's great value, this one. They should both be, it uh, should be 25 98 uh, in the UK. It's £18 uh, and or $23.50 if you are in the US. So go grab them. Don't forget, if you want to join the conversation, then Crafters TV on Facebook. If you want to shop and watch at the same time, then the best place to watch us is over on the Crafters Companion website, crafterscompanion.wherever you are. So .co.uk if you are here in the UK, .com if you're in the US, or .eu if 
you are anywhere else in Europe. Okay, keep getting your questions in. Which are your favourite from the three collections uh, that you've got here? And uh, do let me know. Someone's saying, Eleanor's saying, Joe, will you be making a card? Uh, <laughs> Debbie's saying, lovely card. Bernie says she's looking forward to teaching me. Shall we start with a free seat with a three-piece suit. I think that's a little bit ambitious, Bernie, don't you? Um, but I think it needs to be, we need a creative craving show together, me and Bernie, she can yes, teach me how to sew. Absolutely. I think that's going to be the way forward, you know? Absolutely. What a great idea. Yeah. Quite like that idea. Now, nesting dyes. Okay. I love... Why, why are they such a crafty essential? Why is it so important that you have some nesting dyes in your stash? Because they are probably... And when I talk about versatility, these are the most versatile dyes you will ever own. Because perfect for, and we say nesting, but they're perfect for all your matting and layering. Okay. One thing that I hear over and over and over again, Joe, is that... matting and layering, just in case anyone is super oh, new? That's, do you know what? That's a really good question, Joe, because I, I, I talked to my daughter the other day about matting and layering, and she looked at me, what are you talking about, Mum? <laughs> she did, she went, what are you talking about? And I went, matting and layering? It means framing. So when okay. you're framing things, and it creates that beautiful... And, and so easy because you've got them the precision. Can I show you one, you Joe? Can let, show me grab, me. let me grab these from behind. Oh, you. steady. So <laughs> let me show you. This is just one of them. Don't forget there is lots. But what I mean by this, where the nesting, where you get that matting and layering, perfect precision, because we've done all the hard work for you. This one, each layer, and there's 10 pieces in here, Joe. You trying to get that shape, because that's one of our, now we call it circle, but it's our circle sentiment too because this one is moving away from the traditional circle, circle. This one, I'm actually gonna be using this because I love this to make that spinning card that I was talking about. But the, each one of these creates that perfect layering every time when you get down to that little one down there as well. So for me, they are the worst style and I'm gonna show you why. Yes. So, talk and they, about sh they should be 12 99 each, but if you're yeah. getting them together, you get them both for £18. So it's like you get the second one for £5, which is an incredible it's, deal. It is. And if, if there's anything I would ever record, just choose, choose just a set, put them in your basket mm -hmm. and give them a go. And I can tell you now, having to do all your own measurements where you've got to cut half an inch off, quarter an inch off, a little bit, a little bit more. Forget it, because these are perfect. Mm. These are going to work for you every time. Look at this one here. Talking of this, this is that gorgeous hexagon scalloped one. Now, again, each single mat there, perfectly cut to size to fit within each other, taking your different cardstocks. You can mat and layer them by giving them a little bit of height. Looks like a pyramid, Joe. Absolutely beautiful to create just a card. However, talking of versatility, because you can use these to create anything. A shaker card. Shaker card. Shaker, shaker card. card. Shaker card. I like that bit. However, that's just one of them. One of the way you can use it. Now I'm going to bring in something really funky. Look at that one. Now taking your dies again, creating these circular shapes. Uh, is that, is that a twister page? It's a what? A twister. A twister page. I like that. Is that, is that yeah. what they call Should it? Should we patent that? We'll a twister we'll page. New, yeah, twister page. Yeah. I like that one. We'll copyright that. <laughs> But you can see, you won't be able to do these with a pair of scissors or, or oh, anything no. like that. It would take far too much hard work. Then just taking it in a simplistic design where you're just using it to create your mat and layers for your sentiments or for your dyes. Now I'm going to bring in another one to show you what I mean by that. So when you're using your uh, sentiments, stamp a sentiment in the middle, pop your little die cut shapes out on the edge there and pop them in the middle. Absolutely fabulous. Taking it as a focal part of your card. How gorgeous does that look using the others? Uh, I'm going to bring this one because I love this one. I just think simplistic wise, that is beautiful. But again, it just creates those matte and layers. And that's just using three of the dies. Think about oh, tags. Cutting a little tag. How gorgeous is that? Think about, think about bunting. You could have bunting. So oh, lovely again, idea. Again, look at this. By using the matting and layering technique and chopping and changing because there is scalloped as well as the stitched edge, you get that beautiful design. They all work within each other. These really are fabulous ways. Which one is and your favorite? Let me know uh, in the comments. The circle is on, ahead on the website at the moment, Debbie. I'm gonna show you another sample. I wanna show you, you can create your own card blanks using the nesting dies. This is what I'm talking about, versatility. That has all been created, apart from those little embellishments, but every single piece of that shape on there has been created using those nesting dies. And that's what I love about them. And then bringing last one in, 
I, I had so hard job choosing which one I love, but I just want to show you just exactly, even taking this design around the box jaw as being one of the hexagon dies, hexagon, yeah, that's the right word, I'm thinking, yep, yeah, hexagon dies, snipped in half and used to decorate the edge of that box. Gorgeous. How fabulous are those? So that's why for me, it ticks all the boxes. Because what are you going to use them for? And maybe you've already got them. Let me know if you've got them. What have you been using them for? I would love to know what you have been getting up to with these ones. Will these all go through your smaller machines They will as well? all go through your junior machine as well. So they'll go through your junior, they'll go through your normal Gemini. We've got the big daddy we out have, today. With a discount, don't forget about that. <laughs> yeah, I like that, that cheeky discount. Didn't know about that. No. I know it. I like, I like a little cheeky discount now Who and again. Who doesn't, Who doesn't? Oh, absolutely. Right, so shall we crack on? Patricia loves them all. Does she love them all? Mm. You see, for me, circles and squares and hexagons and our hearts and all those things. In fact, hearts, mm. we've got some gorgeous mixed media hearts on we the show today as well. We do, indeed, yeah. yes. If you uh, want to make something with those, you can make loads, some lovely little love cushions or some applique love curtains you could make with those if you wanted to. But we're going to show you a really special demo today, aren't we, with these um, We are, yes. So, so I'm going to show you, um, I want to say like a basic spinning card. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want to show you the, how to start um, to make one. Now, you may have already got these dies and never thought about using it this way. Yeah. So that's why I thought we'd do Brilliant. this one. But we also have on our website, do you know how we've got tutorials? Yes. There's tutorials on there that show you where you can take it up another notch and you can use it in a more uh, more advanced way. Okay. But what I want to show you is how, and we're going to create this one where we've got this lovely, sh uh, lovely shaker, we're going to call it. I need to get my words right. Our gorgeous Mag's made this one, one of our design team members. She teaches classes next door at um, Acliffe. Absolutely fabulous. She's one of our demonstrators as well. But look how fabulous that is. So I'm going to show you the basic how to use this okay. and how to create this. Because if you look at it, it's cutting through. It's that aperture. It gives you that spinning design. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm only using the stitch edge circle dies. Well, Eleanor no, says that she used it for, she did her first shaker card using the dies from the Crafters Inspiration 25. Ooh, um, and talking yes. of Crafters Inspiration, we'll be giving you, you a little bit of a heads up to some of the magazines that you can get your hands on over on the Crafters Companion website a little bit later in the show. Um, Patricia's looking forward to this. She says she uses them for shaker cards. Um, she's always wondered how to make the spinner card. So you're in the right place at the right time, Patricia. Right, so I've started off with a seven by seven card. Okay. And I've, you, I, make, I, I do make my own. I use our white stamping card to make my own bases. So what I did was I took a piece of white cardstock and I've cut that down to seven by seven. And then I did, and I'm just going to show you my second layer. So this one is a seven by nine this time because I've actually scored it a couple of inches in and this is going to create my own card blank. So putting those two together creates my own card blank. So stamping card, although we haven't got it on the show, we've got it on our website and it's perfect for all those things, not just stamping with, making my own card blanks. I do it a lot, absolutely love the stuff. So that's how I did to create that outside, the underneath and the outside edge, okay? Wonderful. Uh, talking about Crafters Inspiration, I've actually got Crafters Inspiration issue number 25 right here in my hat. It is available now over on the website. You get loads of added goodies love. in here. Here, but like it's $9.99 in the UK, $19.99 if you are in the US, and it is packed full of so much inspiration, 75 projects in there to aspire, inspire you. You also get some Gemini dies in there, a floral stamp set, uh, a Spectrum Noir project, project book, and a paper craft CD-ROM with over 840 elements. So if you are new to crafting, or maybe your crafty mojo has just dried up a little bit, yeah, Crafters yeah, Inspiration is always a great way to go. Yeah. Pop on over to the website and have a look. And obviously there's so many previous copies that you can also get your hands on. I know can, people yes. love and adore those. And do you know what else is in there? Some nice giveaways. Ooh, some lovely. competitions. Always love a giveaway and a competition. Right, so shall we, let's just pop that down there. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first of all. Because what I'm going to take, Joe, is I need to create an aperture. So rather than doing each one, and this is where I find really difficult. I've got lots of different cards because to create What's my... What's an aperture? It cuts through. It cuts through to oh, create a hole. a hole. It's a hole, yeah. Okay. It's a hole. Creates a hole. It's Look a fancy word the for card. a hole, isn't it? An aperture. <laughs> so, but can I just explain? So I've got all my cardstock and I've literally taken these down. Now, 
That's seven by seven. That one is six and three quarters by okay. six and three quarters. The next layer is six and a half by six and a half. And then I've gone six and... Oh, can you see what I'm using again, John? Oh, you're losing that lily paper. I've just had to... I love this stuff. Monday morning, <laughs> 7 a.m. Crate and Craft, if you want to grab that. And I've just taken another quarter of an inch off there. That's how I create my mat and layers using my guillotine. Now, to create the aperture in the centre, if you was to do each one individually... Oh, it, honestly, it'd work out your, your your brain would be fried because okay. you'd have to do each one separately. I'm going to I'm going to show you the cheats way. OK, right, we love so a cheat. I'm taking my dotty tape pen. Yeah, I've, I'm full of my top tips today. I'll tell you, I'm not even having dinner either. Can you imagine what I'd like if I'd had some Is food? That lunch? I'd be dangerous. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I got, uh, <laughs> it's I'm a, sorry. It's a forever, a day, it's a forever it, debate. I call it breakfast, so in the tea. south, in the UK, <laughs> in the southern half of the country, we call it breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yep. Uh, but in the north, and Matt's, Matt's furious that we call it breakfast, lunch and dinner. In the north, uh, anywhere kind of north of, I would say, Birmingham, it's breakfast, dinner and tea. So what do you call it where you are? Drop into the comments and let me know. I'd love to know. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Joe. Don't so, get me started on names for bread. That's a whole different kettle of that's no, a whole we'll be different kettle of worms. Day, we would. <laughs> right, so I've just taken my dotty tape pen and put a little bit in each corner. I don't want to stick it down just yet, but what I want to do is hold it in place. So this is the best thing I can do. Now I'm using textured cardstock, okay? Uh, but you can use whatever cardstock you want. And if you've noticed, what I'm just doing is running in each corner. And it's just to hold this into place so I've got it in an accurate place and it's not going to move. Now I'm going to do the same with this. Now you think about this, Joe. This has got a 300 GSM white cardstock, 180 texture. No, in fact, 230, isn't it, the textured? Oh, yeah, I've got even more. I'm going to be so I'm actually layering up quite a lot. So I've you're got, almost like, you're uh, about you think 900 about it, yeah, GSM in total. When, by the time I've put the next layer on, you can see just where... And we're talking heavyweight cardstock now. However, we know the Gemini is a perfect thing. So what I'm going to do is I've placed that on, pop them down, and now I'm going to take, and this is up to you. The size of the aperture is up to you. I'll just explain what I've done. You can see here, I've got the 10 pieces. I've taken the fourth die in, and that's the one that I'm going to use to create that aperture. Now, I'm going to now place it in the center of my card. So I've got all, all those done. Now, I need to take some tape for this part, and this you really must take down. Don't forget you're cutting through lots of layers here. So I'm taping that down and now I'm going to run it through my Gemini. Wonderful. So Julia Julia's saying, my neighbour in Colorado thought I was weird talking about tea as an evening meal. Originally I'm from Manchester, still call it tea after 20 years uh, <laughs> living in the US. Uh, Mary is saying, I love, and love is in capital letters, uh, Crafters Inspiration magazine. A lot of you have a lot of love for those magazines. Such a small investment for, you know, such a lot of product and inspiration Absolutely. there as well. Uh, Matt in Newcastle uh, says, uh, I call it breakfast, lunch and dinner too. I'm from Newcastle. We say it up north. Uh, Carol Coe says, wondering what afternoon tea is in the north. That's a good point. What's up good about point. afternoon tea? What time do you eat that in good the north? Good point, Carol. I like that one. Right, sorry, Joe. I'm nearly knocking my glue over. Now, it Producer was Laura's usually got an answer for absolutely everything. She's, but she's there was stony speechless. silence in my speechless. ear then. Yes, absolutely speechless. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to explain what I've done. So, I can see I've run this through the machine. Now, I did put down my metal plate. Yep. Now, I know that that is a lot to ask a Gemini to do, yep. to cut through one, two, three, four pieces of cardstock. So, by this, and, and this is one of the reasons why I want to, to, to show this yep. and to give this top tip, I know that it will have cut through. So, if I just take this off now, I know it's going to cut through maybe two or three layers. So, I'm just going to pop this in for a second. There we go. I'm going to take off this part and I'm going to save this because I can use this. Don't forget, although I'm not using it in my card, you've got a gorgeous little um, nested die there. I'm going oh, to use that one. Project, that. Absolutely. Now you can see it's cut the top layer. And I'm just going to, and the reason why with the, the dotty tape, oops, she says, not like a band aid, Debbie, not like a band aid. It's a good job I'm covering it over. <laughs> but you're just going to take that off. So the top layer takes off. Okay. I've created now that part. Your just go there. aperture. Me aperture. Oh, hell. <laughs> now I'm just going to separate it again. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 
Joe, I'm being You're so heavy handed, aren't you? Joe? I am. I am a bit. That's one it's thing. It's because you're breaking about up me. that cardboard last I night. I know. I'm. I'm so super strong. Sometimes I don't even know my own strength. But there you can see it's cut the second one. However, and don't. Don't. Let's. Let's make sure. Let's just make sure. Oh look, it's cut through this one. Keep that. Put that to one side. Now then. The power of the Gemini, it's nearly cut through that one. However, I'm not going to worry. I've only got two layers to cut through now. So I'm going to place that back on the top. And this is why, top tip, you're not having to guess now where to put this again. You've got that. And if I just show you, can you take a close up for that for me, Matt, where I can show you? Can you see you've still got the mark there in the, in the centre? So now you know where you're going to put that. And it's one of my little top tips that I would give to anybody when you're wanting to create an aperture of multiple levels and multiple layers. Okay, so okay. I'm going to place that on. Now, whilst you're just running that back through again, I want to yep. share with you something that is exceptionally busy on the website. <laughs> it is the Gemini Plate Collection. Um, so if you want to grab yourself a new set of plates, now is a great time to do so. Or maybe you're going for the Gemini machine itself. Maybe you're thinking, well, I'm going to grab a second set of plates with part of that 10% saving. Uh, you're also going to get the storage bag with this. So you get the two cutting plates, the magnetic plate. You're going to get the rubber embossing mat. You've got the plastic shim there as well. And you've also got your metal plate in there too. So it is a full collection of plates in there for you. £45 in the UK, $60 if you are in the US. So a great time uh, to stock up on those. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Now, while you've been talking through that, I've just run this through again. Again, I'm just going to take my low tack tape off for a second. I'm not going to throw away these. I'm going to save these parts because they'll come in handy uh, for other things. But what's that done now is it's cut through the other two layers perfectly. So now, and I even got that lovely middle one. Keep hold of that as Wonderful. well. So I've got all those got all your bits. from that. I've got all my bits that I need. Now, what we can do is put this together, but we'll do that in a minute because I want to show you now what you're going to be able to do. So I've, I've put, oh, actually they're the ones that I did earlier, Joe. Let's move those to one side so you can see these. You've got layer one, layer two, layer three, and layer four. Now, shall we put these together so you can see how you've created this? Now, I'm going to use our all-purpose glue for this. What else could you use for, the, use for this if you wanted to? I mean, I know you're using the all-purpose, but would like uh, a tape runner? Tape what, runner? You wanted to do yeah, too? yeah, tape runner's fine. The reason I'm using my all-purpose, and just for a second, I just want to show you, is because I can wiggle it into place so that I can get my perfect matting and layering. So I can see that that's not quite there. I can, okay. I can move it into place, which is why for this particular project, I would definitely use um, um, the all-purpose glue. Okay, it is fabulous. Uh, but, don't forget, if you want to drop into the comments, you want to join the conversation, you want to get involved in this show, then you need to be over on the Crafters TV Facebook. That's where I'm monitoring the comments in this show. That's where I'm going to be mon monitoring the comments from now on as well. So make sure you're watching the Facebook Live from there. Make sure you've liked the page as well so you can keep up with all of the fabulous deals and shows that we have coming up for you. Any new shows we have, sneaky peeks, behind the scenes stuff, all of the competitions, it'll all be there on the Crafters TV page for you where we talk all things Crafters TV, of course, the home of Crafters Companion. If you want to watch and shop at the same time, you can on the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk, if you're in the UK.com in the US or .eu if you're anywhere else in the rest of Europe. But drop into the comments on the Crafters, Crafters TV page page and let me know what you are loving maybe you've made something like this before pop in and let me know right so i've now put them all on so now you can see you've got a beautiful aperture that that's ready for me spinner so how do we do this however what i'm going to do first before i do the spinner is i want to decorate the edge if i just bring back in mags's gorgeous card just to show you get the right way around you can create now with your mat uh, matting and layering nesting dies you can create these beautiful things and i'll show you with the first one so the, the exactly the same thing i'm using the largest dies the same set as well so now i'm using the larger ones and you can see how these all nest into each other and that's what's going to create my first shape so i'm just going to take a piece of orange cardstock and this again is from the textured so I'm going to place that on and you can see that fits in just beautifully all the way around. And all I want to do is make sure that it's nice and even and then tape it down again, Joe. Anne Always is asking, um, is there a big difference between all purpose and tacky glue? Yes. 
So all purpose is um, it gives you that wiggle time. Tacky is quite instant. So once you get your tacky glue into place and you've put, it's, it's quite um, an instant so idea. It, so the the yeah. grab is a bit quick. It quicker. grabs very quick. Yeah, it okay. really does grab really quick. Right, so I'm now going to place this in, run this through the Gemini again. Now let's just pop that down and run that through. And again, just place it in. Let the Gemini do all the hard work for you. And then you will repeat this a few times with different cardstock, depending on the layer that you want to go with. Okay? Right, so let's pop this. Ooh. A very, very busy for the Gemini. Don't forget, you got a, you got ten percent off, which is you know it's rare that we discount you know our you know core lines here, of course, which the Gemini is, and it's the big daddy. So if you've been thinking about getting one, if you're new to uh, die cutting, then this is a great machine with unrivaled pressure, which is not just going to cut things like cardstock. You know, think about cutting things like metal and fabric and a whole host of different things even things like balsa wood i've seen debbie fisher oh, cut yeah. with hers and a you know there's, there's so much stuff i saw sarah cook, uh, cut a soda can or a pop can she even with it it's unrivaled pressure it's a future proof machine i think if you're going to get yourself a die cutting machine get the one that i consider to be the best which is the gemini 161.50 in the uk 224.50 if you are in the us saving 10 percent on that but that 10 percent saving towards an extra set of plates that's what I do. Absolutely mm. yeah. Now you've seen one way that they can cut out the nesting dies. By putting two close together you can create that lovely frame. Look how beautiful that is Joe. That's and gorgeous. it's old. And this is going to, I'm going to decorate the outside of that edge of the card. But, I mean, you could pop a photo, what you could do if you wanted to, couldn't you? Is, yeah. Um, well, could you? I don't know. I'm thinking out loud here, right? Could I do that and then line the biggest die up over a photo and then die cut a photo and have it match up beautifully? Absolutely. So you could, but you could make a perfect frame then if you're scrapbooking. Yeah. You're going to love using these for that. And that's what I've done. I do do that quite a lot because it just looks really professional. You won't be able to, like I said, Joe, you won't be able to do it with a pair of scissors. No, absolutely not. You wouldn't get that perfect match. Bettina has popped on to say hello from Denmark. Hello. Uh, she's changed sides. She's on the FB side now. Uh, <laughs> so she can see now that we're all one family in here. Yes. I just found £20 flights to Copenhagen for the <gasps> summer. £20 no. flights from Manchester to Copenhagen. So I've got a friend that lives in Malmo in Sweden. So I'm going to fly to Copenhagen and then I'm just going to go over the little bridge into Sweden. See him. £20. Oh, you can't, wow. What can you get for £20? You can't get lunch no, for £20. No, I know. I'm just thinking, same, not at all. That's I know. A, that's well, actually. Amazing. You can, eight, you can get 18 dies for £20, so... <laughs> <laughs> now, I've now got two of the frames, can you see? Lovely. I've got two, and these fit beautifully with each other. Now, I repeated that with the next size down to create my last one. And I, rather than going through each one individually, it, this is just going to frame. So, shall we frame round that? Shall we frame round this now? Now, I'm going to use, I think I'll use my dotted tape pen for this, but again, tacky glue would be perfect. Um, I'm not using my all purpose this time, Joe, and that's only because uh, the all purpose is quite a, a liquidy, runny um, glue, and it's probably going to splodge everywhere. So, a tape oh, we don't for this splodge. one. Not on that no, beautiful lily cardstock. Not card on this stock. gorgeous cardstock, no. So, you can see now that that fits perfectly over and frames that beautifully and if i just hold that down uh, mary is saying definitely stock up on the larger gemini plates whilst you can i did um yes we've got those on the show for you today with the uh, storage bag as well you'll find it all there on the website and it's handy having that storage bag uh, joe it really is handy to have that storage bag because you can pop them in there do you know if you're traveling around or you take your gemini out to your craft groups or you go to your friends for a bit of a crafting session stick them in there mm. job's a good one now you can see can you see this building up i've got my second layer on and now i'm going to bring in the next one and uh, this just creating that lovely frame. but showing you versatility of these nesting dies yeah, absolutely. absolutely give us a well, i mean i know these aren't multimedia dies but we're going to be able to cut cardstock with these we can. can still could we cut things like acetate and vellum with these still yes you can yeah so you just need to add your i would add my metal shim in okay. there now you can see if i bring this in close for our lovely mat just so i can show you uh, can you see how gorgeous that is now how that works you've got the aperture still there but now you've framed around the aperture to make it stand out that little bit more very very versatile now shall i have i got time to show you how to create that little spin a bit fabulous Wonderful. fabulous so this time oh what did i did i cut all of have i used all my white cardstock i thought i cut myself never mind good job we've got some down here hiding away let me just show you now and talking of versatility 
these will cut through two pieces of cardstock at once. Okay. So I'm going to cut through two pieces of our cardstock. There we go. Because this time I want to create, to create that spinner, you obviously got to attach some, um, some thread mm. to that spinner. So I need to create two panels this time, one for the front, one for the back, to sandwich in the middle the thread. So the thread is, uh, oh, let me find my little thread. People are saying, uh, Julia's saying it's an absolutely stunning card, uh, Debbie. <laughs> Katie's saying we need the dotty tape pen back in stock. Now, you have to bear with me if I'm wrong, but I do believe if something is out of stock, you can go onto the website and set up a notification. So when it comes back in stock, we'll let you know. So if, for instance, like Katie, you need desperately dotty tape pen in your life, Go over to the website now, so uh, craftscompanion.co.uk if you're in the UK, .com if you're in the US, or .eu if you're anywhere else in Europe, and set up a notification. And that means that the Crafty Fairies in the warehouse, as soon as that stock lands with us, you'll get a notification, uh, and you'll be able to then get it as soon as it comes back in, so you'll not miss it. Because the chances are, if you're waiting for it, loads of people are waiting for it, so as quick as it comes back in, it will be gone again. So if you never want to miss a product, that's always a great thing that you can do over on our website. Now that's cut through two pieces while you're busy talking there, Joe. That's Lovely. cut through two pieces that say, and again, 300 GSM, so that's 600, that's cut through with an ordinary die. So you can see it will cut through thicker materials as well. So that was a perfect way of describing how it will work Wonderful. through these dies to cut through thicker materials too. Now, that's my little, this is going to be the part, if I just show you here, that's going to be now the middle part of my card. However, I need a bit of thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that down on there. Shall, shall we put that on there so you can see it better? It always reminds me of the sound of music, you know. Why? Because it's in the song, isn't it? Is it? Oh, a needle pulling thread. Is it? It's in Do, Re, Mi, yeah. Oh, Joe. Do you know, Adan, oh, I went. Look, I got to Adan, go to Salzburg oh, a couple of years ago and I did all of the tours for The Sound of Music. Really? The cycling tours, got to go to all the can, sites, can it's I lovely. Can I share something with you? Don't tell me you've never seen it. Oh, Debbie, we, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> off. That's it, we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> I she's, won't, I've never seen Sound of Music. She's never seen The Sound of Music. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you, Debbie? I'm so sorry, I haven't seen it. I, I wonder if it's popular lie. in the US. I'm sure it I is popular. Lie. Obviously, I know the songs because it's everywhere, but I've never actually... It's just too long a film for me. It's just too long. I'm so sorry, but I've got better things to do with my time, she says. You've shattered my <laughs> dreams you have today here. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you what I've done. I've taken some of this thread. Now, this is the thread that we have, and I think we have this one on the show, don't we, Joe? It's the Gutterman the good, the thread. The Gutterman thread. Absolutely. You'll find that on the website. Yeah, so I've just doubled this up. So what I've done is doubled it up, and I know you can't see because it's so, it's so uh, thin, but I might be able to see there on my fingers. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in the centre of my um, nested, nested shape, yep. right, okay? Now, to tape it down, you can use absolutely anything for this, and I mean anything. Julia's I'm done use a, a bit oh, of OMG face on <laughs> uh, the uh, comments. Alejandra says, I haven't either. Alejandra, you don't know what you're missing. <gasps> see, see, I'm not the oh, only one. I, feel... I, thought, I thought I knew you people, I really did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better now that I know I'm not alone. I'm going to listen to the soundtrack all the way home now, just to make things right in the world a bit. Bless you. Now, can you see I've used a bit of red liner tape for this? Lovely. Which will come in handy as well because I'm going to lift that red off. liner? Um, because of the red cover. Oh, OK. Because <laughs> it red. I thought there was a bit more to it than that. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's super strong. Okay. It's self adhesive, double sided self, double sided adhesive, but it's super super strong. <laughs> I love that if you look at me and say something wrong, you have to look away so you can say it properly. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. She's like, it's a. Oh, it's, I know. Um, I'm, 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 <laughs> It's your, it's your tool to get it right. It is. Now, I've got that sandwiched in the middle and now I'm placing the other one just over the top and that is going to create now my centre part. So if I lift this up, just give that a second. If you thread. need the thread, we can there furnish we you with it. It's on the bottom now of the screen Now, you can there. see now I've got my little spinner all ready to go. I love that it's so, put that um, faux stitching in the edge of I that. Just love, makes it you know, look really professional, it doesn't it? It really is fabulous. Now, I've taken back the first panel that we did, okay. where we've cut all my aperture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that now in the centre. So again, you're just going to take a look where it is. And I'm placing, that's about centre. Mm, yeah, that's about centre. It is. I'm going to take some more red liner tape, but again, you can choose whatever glues you want for this part. So again, I'm just going to place a little bit there on the top and a bit on the bottom and this is just to hold it in place now i'm going to try and get that so into the middle 
and then it's good if I've got my glass mat here. If I just keep that to the centre there, and then I'm going to hold another part down at the bit, I'll hold that tight together as well, and place that over the top. Now I'll show you what I've done, Joe, because I don't want to see my string or my um, my red liner tape. Okay. So I've taken another piece of cardstock and just taken the same aperture and that's going to fit across the top of that. Wonderful. So this just covers it up. It makes it a little bit neater. I mean, there's nothing wrong to say that you can't have that on there, I'm sure. However, it's I think it's always nice it looks... to make the inside and the back as yeah, as, um, definitely. as professional, isn't it? Definitely. As the, as the rest of your card. So I'm just going to snip my thread. Let's snip that thread there and that thread there because it's all struck down. We know it's not going anywhere. And then I'm just going to use my all-purpose glue again, just across, and that's going to cover up the mechanics. Your so bits to and speak. bobs in the back. Yes, the bits and bobs in the back. And again, that just then covers over. So now Can you imagine trying to do that got, without look these Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. This creates that lovely spinner effect. Now, what I'm just going to do is pop that onto the front of my card. And I'll use some red liner tape again. Because bearing in mind, you can... Do you know what? I'm a, no, I am a Yorkshire girl. And I like to save me pennies. Right. We say we're a little bit tight down in, okay. in Yorkshire. Because we are, we, are, we are very careful with our pennies. My friend Lee's from Yorkshire. Not that he's tight, but he's <laughs> the only person I know looks under his pillow to see if he's lost any sleep in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to make my own card blanks because I think okay. you can be spending a lot of money making card blanks mm. and envelopes, but you've got the right tools and we've got lots of tools that you can make these things with. And white stamping card, scoring board or your ultimate and you're going to be able to create your own. Now I've just put that together. Now then if I just show you that has now created that lovely spinner and then it's up to you what you decorate it with so you could put a little sentiment in there in fact you could stamp both sides joe won't that look fabulous oh for a valentine's card you could put a picture of you oh, on one side yeah. and a picture of your valentine on the oh, other oh how wonderful and you can do this with all of them i've just shown you the basics what you're going to do then is decide what you're going to do whether you're going to decorate that middle so if i bring back mags's gorgeous card in there We've got these gorgeous expression dies on today. This is the happy birthday and with love again. You can use those to decorate that up with. But and then, like you've just said, put in a picture at middle, Joe. What an ingenious idea! Really lovely. I absolutely love it. Patricia's saying lovely card. I like it. Erin's saying love your Aww. spinner card as well. Aww. If you want to join the conversation, if you want to come and keep us company over on Facebook Live, then we're monitoring the Crafters TV Facebook Live. Feed. So go across to uh, Crafters TV on Facebook. Make sure you give us a like to keep up with all the gossip and behind the scenes action. We're also on Instagram there as well. We now have our own dedicated channels because there is a lot of very exciting stuff happening here at Crafters TV. A lot of stuff just around there the corner. Is. It's hang on to the seat of your pants. I couldn't believe how many exciting things are happening. So if you want to stay abreast of that, you want to keep up with all the gossip, Crafters TV is definitely the place to be. So then, Joe, that is how all you done. put a spinner card together. I'm not going to decorate anymore because I think no, I think you've think, got the idea. I think enough is and enough. And the thing is, that's just using one of those nesting dies. Absolutely. You can do it with any single shape. You can do it with the circles. You can do it with the love hearts. You could do it with the multimedia love hearts. Absolutely. Do you know what you're going to do? It's just going to save more time because yes. you'll be able to cut through multiple, uh, of course. multiple layers at each time. Absolutely. Now, don't forget, you've got options here as well. You've got the Scalloped Edge Square collection. Should be £12.99 each in the UK. They're £18. So you're paying for one, just paying £5 for the other one which is incredible value for money or if you're in the US $23.50 you also have the hexagon scallop and torn edge collection as well that one there exactly the same pricing information for you too and then the most popular thus far the circle scalloped and stitch edge collections there for you you're saving 30% no matter which one you're going for you get 18 dies in total for 18 pounds stonkingly good value now of course Facebook is where you want to be if you want to join the conversation but if you're wondering how you can shop and watch at the same time we've got you covered take a look hi i'm joe from crafters tv and i'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows so the best way to watch us is always on crafters tv head on over to our homepage and go to crafters tv you can see all of our shows offers and even shop while you watch now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. 
Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Dropping into the Facebook, loads of you getting in touch as well. We're going to come back and we're going to look at Crafters Inspiration 25 is the one that we have here. Amazing value these, $9.99 if you're in the UK, $19.99 if you are in the US. And I always say, to get a magazine with 75 projects in, you'd pay that. Yeah, exactly. You went yeah. to your news agents yeah. or your craft store, you'd happily pay that. Or, but with these, you get so much more in them. Should we delve in and have a look at what's Delving. in here? Delve in, let's go in there. Okay, because we give you, with these, £50 worth of crafty goodies Absolutely. inside that box. The box in itself, Joe, can we just say, keep everything in there. Absolutely. Um, you've got a lovely keepsake, but look at all, every single page is jam-packed full of crafter's inspiration. You've got from all the craft experts, um, you've got from our design team members, people that work in the office, because obviously everybody in the office crafts, they all cra they're all crafters, that's what Absolutely. it's all about. Crafter's inspiration, jam-packed full of that, um, all sorts of projects. Joe said earlier about, if you lose your crafty mojo, it happens yeah. to us all, we, it happens to us all, but we've got ideas in there that you can take into your crafting world as well with your other, other items. Over 800 elements on that DVD that you can print off and they're yours, they belong to you. You can just click and print and click and print and click and print. You're also going to get some stamps in here as well. I'm just looking for something I can hold that against just to show you. Do you want um, me to, I was just going to say, let me just see if I can... You've got a piece um, of plain cardstock uh, there. No, uh, no, but I've got, I've got, ooh, okay. ooh. I'll pop it against there, there for you go. so you won't <laughs> see that a bit easier, kind of. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you, guess st you can't show them that to me. <laughs> oh, you get stamps in here. They are beautiful stamps. There's some florals in there for you. You then also, I'll pop it against my jumper. There you go. Perfect. You're also going to get the Spectrum Noir This is invaluable, uh, book Joe. in here as well. Absolutely invaluable. What's so great about this, Debbie? Because it's giving you, t you know, if you've got, we all buy things and sometimes we just buy them because we want them, but yeah. we don't know how to use them. This is going to give you an insider guide to how to use all your, all your things, Spectrum Noir, from your ink pads to your, um, oh, look, at, look, I love I'm not even getting excited what you've just shown me there. But each individual step-by-step -step instruction showing you um, how to create lots of different techniques using your classes. And then and you're more. even going to get dies in here. Now, I think, right, I'm just going to work this out off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I think you'd pay four ninety nine for the dies. Let's say a fiver. Oh, but Easy. I'd, I'd, even let's more. Let's be conservative. I'd be, I'd be on the more side So let's say one. £5 for that. Mm. Let's say £4 for the stamps. Yep. You've got to pay £4 for the stamps. There they go. So that's £9. Surely the DVD is going to be nine ninety nine if you buy that in your craft store. Could be more, could if be more, more because it's, it's Let's that, say, when you think about what it's got in here, it's got all these digi kits. Each one, everything's printable from backing papers, toppers, uh, sayings, sentiments, all sorts of things in there. And then each one is a different design. We've even got a nautical from our Sarah's range, a nautical collection in there as so well. So let's be conservative and say nineteen pounds worth. I think the Spectrum Noir book's got to be worth at least four pounds. Or more. Being very conservative again. I'm a good so I'd say at more. least twenty-three pounds worth of value before you've even looked at probably the nine ninety nine yeah. you're gonna pay for the magazine. Yeah. I think if you're a new crafter, these crafters inspiration magazines are an absolute no brainer. If you wanna grab them, there's so many, there's loads of previous um, editions there also on the website too. So go over there, craftscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu and you will be able to grab yourself one of those. Now, oh, no. the sweat bands out, oh, Debbie. No. <laughs> oh. It's that big thing that's worrying me in front oh, of me. What big thing? That big purple thing there. <laughs> that's worrying me slightly. Just a little bit. I, I saw last week's show. I oh, saw oh, it. Oh, I forgot my, my sweatpants gone. What have you done? See, if you're thinking pants? what on earth is going, it ruined me quiff last week, so I've made sure I've positioned it in a way that it's not going to ruin my quiff this week. <laughs> so I've got my sweatbands on. I'm oh, limbering up. up. Uh, do you know what? I had a stopwatch as well, but we've uh, we've but got. We, I was stopwatch. I was running around. I was running around the car park earlier. While well, I was busy working. I was eating a donut whilst doing yoga <laughs> earlier as well. 
I mean, that's all I can say. You'll find the video soon on my Facebook page. Thankfully, I've got my trusty stopwatch right here because it is time for five in five. You didn't tell me you were going to do it at the beginning. Oh, yeah, so I've got my air horn here as well. Because what five in five is, is when we bring you three, five great deals in five minutes. So... Do we have the clock ready on the screen? Are we ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I'm coming, I know we're coming. Right, we've got the script alphabet. Look at this. This is a beautiful script alphabet, which means you can use these individually. You're going to be able to make your own words, your sentence, anything you want to create uh, because you've got each individual one. Can I also tell you what it's perfect for? The use of our art liners because you're going to be able to stamp and take your art liner pens and create. So again, versatility stamps. This is what it is. And this has been designed by our lovely... Jennifer Tyron, absolutely beautiful. Look at the price, £6.50. 6 or £9.50 yeah, if you're in the US. You're getting amazing. 30% off there. Absolutely amazing. And for me, what I love about it is that gorgeous script on 20 there. 20 seconds you've left. Got that, oh, you've got that beautiful, beautiful script. And this is the lowercase one. But you can see by taking your art liners or your spectrum. 10 seconds. Oh, you can use your spectrum sparkle pens because we've got some of them coming up later on as well. But you can use anything you want to create each individual word. Absolutely Fabulous. What's next? On to the next one. Jesus. Which is the next one you're throwing me? You're throwing me. <laughs> so retro is next. Oh, that thing. Yes, I swear to goodness, it's going to make me jump out of my skin. Look at this. This is our so retro doodled blooms. This is a beautiful embossing folder. This is an incredible price today of £4 or $5.50. A great saving of 30% today. Embossing folders for me, there are so many techniques that you can do with these. You can take it into just your ordinary central repel and you've got a 30 seconds gone. Oh, you've got, and then you can put your black matte cardstock there and you can then literally take your gilding wax over as well. All sorts of different techniques. Check out our Jan's tutorial, 17 different techniques. 15 in the seconds. Folder. Oh, can I put that one down? You can move on to the next one early if you want. <laughs> Oh, that was a really bad one. Oh, 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 a little Matt, bit longer on the wing Matt, bag because it is a bit closer. Amazing. Look at this. This is my favourite bag by far. This is our tote, tote bag. Let me just tell you, it's got wheels that spin 360 degrees all the way around on like all expensive four. luggage, isn't it? Absolutely. Can I show you inside? And you I mean can. inside. I'll show you the zip side pockets first because we've got. Save oh, this. Just... <laughs> this one is so busy. The this... busiest of our five in five so far, this one, Debbie. We've got zips within each other. So you've got each pocket, you've got places for your uh, for your pens, for your brushes. This is on the other side as well. You've got outside space here. You take that down, you've got another zip inside. Then we've got at the front, if I just zip through this, and I, I really could do it longer than a minute on this one. You can, can have can a little, have little bit longer. Can I have a little bit longer? An extra toot, though, just, you know. Just, <laughs> a little bit longer. Let me like, just yeah. take that down. You've got yeah. inside pocket you've got an inside pocket here for all your tools you've got another inside pocket there for more tools or what you want to carry that's the front but what else have we got let me just zip that up a little bit let's take this zip all the way around and I'm gonna now reveal for me the best bit the inside look at this you can put your Gemini that's got seat belts seat belts for your Gemini you've got a, and I mean this is super super enforced listen to the sound of that now this is a super super sturdy that you can pop anywhere. You've even got pockets Ten seconds in the left back. On this one. Oh, and then you've got a three-way handle where it literally goes up, and you can carry that around. Oh, that long enough? <laughs> oh, on to the next one. <laughs> oh, the hey, not inside. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got here yeah, a gorgeous again from the Creator Card range. This is our roses in bloom. Now this you can see straight away nine pieces of dye in this to be able to create lots of different style cards you've already seen me use the creator card but we've got elements in here and if i just flip reverse this where you can create invitations perfect for weddings perfect for birthdays for those are special occasions and all your dies are all here, giving you the different ways. We've got lots of tutorials on the website, again, where you can use these, and they are fabulous. That in itself, £13.50, $27.50, saving of that 30%. Oh, on to the next one. And then you drop me book. Will you behave yourself? <laughs> this is the 12 by 12. <laughs> Paper bad. Now, this is gorgeous. There are 36 sheets of the most beautiful designs 
here. Look at this. Perfect for all sorts of occasions. 30 seconds, I'm Debbie. I'm just going to show you. I'll do a little bit of a flick in a moment, but you can see each one. And if I just do a little bit of a flick, let me lift that up. I'm not doing that flick very well, am I? Let me, do, let me get it the right way around. There we go. Look at all those in the UK, gorgeous, 15, 15 in the gorgeous US. papers. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for matting and layering. Perfect for all sorts of die cutting, uh, using in your backgrounds. Five bringing seconds. It, bringing it in with all your other things. You Three, could use those as well. Two, I've got death in me here. That was five in five. Survived. There's one more for you. <laughs> now let's just pop into the comments. Normally, now we pop into the comments and people say that their dogs are running uh, into <laughs> into the. Um, what is quite hilarious is I'm getting it just on delay here, so I'm watching it and laughing along as well. What was your favourite of the five in five? Do pop along and let us know uh, what you are loving this evening. Loads of you getting in touch. Remember, it's Crafters TV. Facebook page uh, is where you need to um, go along to get in touch with us. Um, someone saying, Debbie, uh, if you have Disney Plus, which is a new streaming service, uh, The Sound of Music is available there and you can watch it at your <laughs> leisure. Uh, Liz says she's just in from work having a cuppa uh, and watching Debbie and Joe. Uh, Gay is saying we're all so fun to watch. Uh, Bernie says her pup is going crazy. Oh, uh, yes, also, Erin says love the spinner card uh, and Patricia saying loving that demo as oh, well. Loads you. of love there in the Facebook comments for us. There is still loads uh, still to come, of course, as well. Don't forget, we uh, have loads of deals still on their way for you in this show. Got about another half an hour uh, left to go in this show. So let's have a look ahead as to what is still to come. Uh, this is the Gemini, Gemini Stamp and Die Expressions Collection. You got, you got five to choose from here but check out the price on these four pound can you see the saving there you've got a 60 percent saving on these which is wonderful you've got the um cocktail time and collect and celebrate die you've got the grand peacock and just for you uh, you've got the uh angel wings and with love you also have the presents and happy birthday or you've got the poinsettia and special friend now you could go for all, all of those for just £20 if you're in the UK or $30 if you're in the US. I know lots of you uh, will be going for the whole collection of those because they are absolutely incredible value. Our Gemini uh, matching stamp and dies are always so incredibly popular. Remember, this is Creative Cravings. This is all about you learning. This is about education. It's about inspiration, as well as having, of course, a little bit of fun. Um, we're going to throw to the lovely Debbie in a moment. Before we do that, though, make sure you're dropping into the Facebook over on Crafters TV, along with the live stream. If you want to watch and shop at the same time, then, of course, it's really easy to do so. Crafterscompanion.co.uk com or .eu, depending on where you are, is where you need to do that. Um, Gay is saying that she loved the, uh, is the last die set we showed on the five and five, that was her, uh, and also the rose die, lots of love for that as well. I'm going to be uh, having a little look at the comments and going through those, but whilst I do that, here's the lovely Debbie. Ooh, ooh. I think my ears have just about recovered. Ooh. I'm not so sure though. I think I'll be hearing that all the way back down the motorway today. Right, now coming up is another one of my favourites and I do have a lot of favourites but that is just because these again are really versatile. These are our stamp and die sets. Can I just draw your attention to the price? Can you see the price? Absolutely phenomenal. Four pounds. Am I reading that right? Four pounds or six dollars. Look at the saving. Do I have to say that saving out loud? How amazing is that? Now you've got lots of different collections. And can I just tell you as well, you're getting that additional die that comes with it, which really does mean this is for me probably the star buy of the show today. It really is. So let me show you what you're getting. And I'm going to show you, this is the first one. We've got the Grand Peacock. Look how fabulous he is. Now, on its own, it comes in. And I'll just bring this in for a second so you can see this. You've got the stamp that you can use on its own. However, we're giving you the two dies again to be able to create 
this beautiful i'm going to turn it this way just for a second so you can see it you've got the outside cutting part there now you also have both parts to create this this is fabulous and literally again you're going to get that die to cut out that as a topper on itself and with that we're giving you an expressions just for you i hope i've got that one right now look at the saving that is a phenomenal saving of 60 percent that is the grand peacock i'm now going to show you one of my favorites i'm going to demonstrate with this in a moment the cocktail time now again you've got the stamp that works on its own oh do you know what i'm saying i've lost my stamp and die it's here because i'm using it that's the stamp and the die set and with this one you get celebrate that's the expression word you get with this so again stamp Use it as an outside to cut the outside line to create that edible card again or to create the all part. Absolutely fabulous. Beautiful. The next one we have, absolutely love this. The angel wings. That stamp in itself is just divine. Angel wings, stamp, two die sets and with love as well. The expressions, four pounds, I can't get over the price, but each one you're gonna be able to use in so many ways, cutting on the edge, cutting the whole part out, absolutely phenomenal. Now the presents, I mean, just come look at this. You can use these Christmas, birthdays, depending on how you color them up. Again, you've got that stamp, you've got the cut on the edge, you create the whole part of this and with the stamps comes the happy birthday expressions as well so again four pounds for that now for me that's a phenomenal deal it really is a phenomenal deal it's fantastic i i honestly think the price of this if this doesn't fly today i'll be really really surprised i'm going to show you a few different styles that you can create so if i just show this one perfect straight away the gorgeous Grand Peacock used as a topper. So that's been stamped, coloured in with our sparkle pens and then die cut all the way around to add as a topper. I mean, that's fabulous. Again, look at this. This is the cocktails. Look at the cocktail time. Each individual, I mean, I love this. This is how it starts in a cocktail. By the time you're in a couple of mouthfuls, by the time you've, what, five minutes later? Uh, a couple of minutes later depending on who's drinking it but again you've got each one of those to be able to cut out stamp as well really fantastic and i'm going to show you let's take this one let me get the right way around though first there you go that's the poinsettia one but again you can see where you're going with this where you've got the stamp and then the outside edge to cut out on and then bearing in mind the presents i want to show you this gorgeous presents one just using it with some of your luxury card, uh, cardstock but again really fabulous very versatile stamps and dies can be used in so many ways and so easy to use they really are so i'm going to use the cocktail time i think i believe our lovely joe is coming to watch me it's coming along you know that we're actually uh the, the peacock and just for you is limited stock already <gasps> i said that a lot of you'd been shopping ahead tonight we're having a very very busy creative cravings this wednesday um yes and also it is the most popular at the minute as well the peacock and just for you so if you've got your eye on that in the show you need to grab it sooner rather than later if you're watching this at a later date then do check the website to see what the see what the stock situation is like i made a, that a bit of a tongue twister for myself you did, again there, yes, didn't I? yeah i've done me, that a lot of tonight that haven't I? That, joe it's not you it's usually me that does that now i'm just going to show you how simple this is to use now on the back of each one it does tell you because these make perfect a6 size cards okay. and it does tell you it's cut you cut it to four by two uh, four point two five um on a length weight a4 and then score it in the middle okay perfect. so you would start off with a piece of card strap this lot this big score it in the middle and you go but you get the you get the measurements on the back of Wonderful. your of your die set would you for that. use the dies on their own and the stamps on their own absolutely could you do that if you of wanted you to can, yeah. okay yeah of course you can now i'm using our finesse waterproof one for this because i'm going to use uh, some sparkles we've got some sparkles on the show it's got sparkles what no we've got some sparkles. oh i thought there were sparkles the in the ink pad got you really blew my tiny then. mind then you, got, <laughs> you really got excited then joe we i need to that. that's what we need you know we need sparkly <laughs> ink pads I tell, I tell you. Pads with sparkling. Ink shall, we, shall we go and have a word with Leanne? Let's. Because honestly, you, me and you both with sparkles. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. But we have I mean, you could use your pens. sparkle pens to do it, mm -hmm. I guess, if you wanted to. You can do it, Dean. Now, I've taken my stamping mat uh, and my stamping platform. These will fit on your rocker blocks because I know that there was a phenomenal deal on the rocker blocks the other day. Uh, but these will fit on. And this, this for me, gives a more precision stamping. So matching the two together, perfect. Not on the show, but will be on the website. Oops, I've just realised I've got my, 
My stamp on wonky. Um, they get me them Tammy right was place. saying that she loved the weedy bag in the five in five. Absolutely. Tony was also saying she loved the Chloe paper pad. So make sure you snap up those five in fives. Uh, you have to wait wait a whole week to get my horn out again. <laughs> Now, I've stamped my lovely image, even though I've got a bit of a wonky bottom. I think I got my stamp on a bit funny. Haven't However, I'm not going to worry too much because I want to show you now, with this outside edge, you've got two parts to this, and it's just a case of working out which one's which. So this one is going to give me the on-the-edge card. So if I just bring in... I'm going to have to use my big plate again. Let's pop that down. Uh, so I'm going to place this on and exactly the same that we did with those first set of dies that we had on You're just going to place it around the image this time though It's you've got the stamp and the die set rather than two dies. This is a stamp. I just think that price Joe oh, It's phenomenal Literally phenomenal price now. I've placed that on the top and what I'm going to do now is a thin metal die So I'm just going to run that through in fact, you know what? I don't think I'm going to put my magnetic on I'm going to just run through my plastic shim. Loads and of people uh, in Facebook tonight saying how much they love all things Crafts Companion. Carol says, I just want everything. The products are fantastic. I have a room full of products from other companies which I never use. It's always the Crafts Companion products I reach for when I'm doing a project. Aww. I think I decided to sell off the others to fund buying more Crafts Companion products. So great idea, Carol. Alison says, I've just bought the present stamp and die. Perfect for many different occasions. <laughs> uh, practically anything that you give a gift for, you can use it. I couldn't I, agree I, with you I, honestly, more. I couldn't and agree these more. prices, like they're four pounds each. If you want to buy them all, it would be twenty pounds in the UK or thirty pounds if you're in the US. What a great time to stock up on something like Absolutely. these. Absolutely, it really is. Now, can you see what that's done, Joe? Shall I bring this in closer so Matt can have a quick peek? You can see now you've created that lovely stamped image, and I've created an on the edge part of the card. Which again, and again, do you know what we could do, Joe? Shall we do it this time? Because we didn't do it on the last one. Let's do it on this one. I'm going to create that background. So again, I'm just placing that over the top and I can see that that fits in there really quite well, quite snugly. All you're going to do is make sure you take that down in both places and again, you're going to be able to create... Oh, let me get that. that Judy's nice saying, great job on five and five. Don't know how you survived Joe's horn, Debbie. Me neither. Mm. Me neither. My ears have just about stopped ringing. <laughs> I love it though, I do, but well, you did it to me early though, didn't you, when we were doing that practice run, yeah. I nearly jumped out of my skin, I hope to goodness no one got that on film, because I, I, I think I did a little squeal, <laughs> a little. Just a little one. Just a little squeal, my days, it, it's rather loud. So again, I've just placed that through, I'm going to bring it back, right, because I'm on my bigger okay. plates, I'm going to bring it back, but I can do very, it, Don't forget about the bigger, the, the uh, deal on the large Gemini's, 10% off this this evening, it's very rarely that we discount um, something like the large Gemini, so if you've been thinking about it for a while a great time to get it if you want to order and watch at the same time don't forget you can do it over on the website uh, craftspanion dot wherever you are you will not miss a thing no no you won't definitely not now let me just grab my little uh, my little snippy scissors because i just want to release because uh, i think my card stop might be a little bit bigger than what i just quoted <laughs> however do as not, i say you, yeah not as i do that is a, a motto that i often live by debbie <laughs> But now you can see you've got that lovely shape and I'm going to just bring that in again, Matt, so you can see I've now created that perfect background there. Absolutely fabulous. And that's what you can do with these. So now, shall I... Oh, do you know what? I think I might just have um, messed my demo up. Why? <laughs> because I were, um, <clears throat> I were making one with a straight back. I'd already cut my panels out. And now you've got a wonky me. back. Now I've got a wonky back. However... However, I can fix it. Okay. I can fix it. How are you, you know going to fix it? I'm going to use my die, because I can do. I'm going to place it over there. Eh? Look at me showing off. Judy <laughs> is saying that she's donated a lot of her non craft Companion products to a crafty recycling store. Now have more room. A lot of love for Crafts Companion products. And I think, do you know what it is, Debbie? Yeah. It's because they're designed by crafters for, for crafters, crafters, which is really what sets exactly. them apart. Exactly. Exactly. That's very true, that. Um, now, I'm just going to run that back through again. I'm having to, uh, <coughs> I'm having to reschedule my uh, design. There we go. Let's just put that through. And so is that, that your standard sandwich, then? Your outside because cutting plates? Your rubbish... You've got a rubber... Plastic shim. Plastic shim. Because, that, because this is only... So on the first demonstration that I did, right back at the beginning, you I used the metal magnetic. shim and magnetic shim because that was a detailed die. Right. This isn't. 
it's just a nice straight edge it's just right. an outline so for that i would always recommend when you've got an outline die start with the least pressure so okay. you can always build up and that's another little another top tip i've been full of them today aren't you I? are you uh, are honestly <laughs> full of the knowledge today didn't yes me? it's just because it gives you um it's like you slept in the craft room last night <laughs> But yeah, it's just because you can build your pressure back up. So rather than going with a full pelt and everything, that's when, and, and you know what, Joe? That's when you can do damage to your plates. Okay. And as they damage, you can warp them faster because you're putting too much pressure. Start with the least, build it up. If it doesn't cut, add your magnetic shim. And that's how I would always work. And I still have plates that I use all the time. Now, no, look, perfect. 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 It fits in just lovely there. I love that. Can you nicely. imagine trying to fussy cut that around? It would just be a nightmare, wouldn't exactly. it? Exactly. Now then, I've realised something else, Joe. What have you done now? Because I've done it. I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. <clears throat> I can see Matt looking at me. Is there a Debbie? Debbie. Shaking his head. <laughs> Can I, have, have we got time to do a bit of a sparkle or have we not got time to do a bit of sparkle? Yeah, let's. Lovely We've got sparkle. loads of time. We've still got 13 I'm, minutes I'm left. Move that out of the way. Oh, fabulous. So, I love sparkle pens. Anybody who knows me knows I oh, love. Oh, and that is a super, super, super sparkly, sparkly, isn't it? Super sparkly, yes. Now, 20, is it? Oh, You've got Joe, a 20% saving on the sparkle pens uh. tonight. Uh, <laughs> you've got six different ones to choose from there as well. So do check the website out there, 19 50, uh, you get six in each uh, pack, so there's loads in there. Even I've used these before, they are loads of fun to use. You do, yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm taking some water, um, I've got watercolour cardstock, I've got my water spritzer because I want to wet my card. Uh, mine are already primed, now I'm not going to, I, I should we really prime a pen? Nah, I tell you what, check the, check the, check the tutorials out. Now this collection I'm using is the floral, got, is floral let me just check. Let me just check. Floral Garden. Well, that's actually the one that's the most popular tonight in the show. Oh, it's just Debbie. beautiful. It's the Debbie effect, you see. Uh, it, it is, isn't it? I like it. I am going to use, though, another colour from the Nature Trail as well, because I like the Nature Trail. Okay. I love all of them. They're all fabulous. Do you know? Did you hear what she just said? No. Second favourite. Ooh, it's like I'm reading Debbie. your minds. It is, isn't it? You got a good taste, like, Debbie. I'm that's like what it is. I'm doing it again. Sceptic pegs. Spe spectic, spectic pegs. Spectic pegs. Spectic pegs. Spectic pegs. I've got to get that man out of my oh, head. Oh, you I did that to me at the last. I when were you? Did. You did that to me at Crane Craft as well. I did because well. I've got septic peg in my head because that's what he used to call him in his in his. Brian sketch. Connolly, you're talking Brian about. Brian Connolly, yes. Mystic, you're like Mystic, Mystic Meg. Meg. That's what that's you're saying. What I wanted if you're to in say. the US, Mystic Meg is a well-known. Um, she does a horoscopes, doesn't Astrology, she? In the in yes. the papers, yes. yeah, in the very highbrow papers. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I think it was. I think it was seeing your face. It got a bit oh, of deja vu. Septic. <laughs> you saw me and thought septic. <laughs> Cheers, Debbie. Oh no, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just wetting my cardstock. Back to the demo. Back to the demo. Uh, save myself, quick, Joe. Save myself. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a shake to wake because I've already primed my pens, but they just they've been settled for a bit. And you want so to make all that sure all that sparkles making the ink don't you? and that mica mica fine glitter in there, that ultra fine glitter in there, mixing that together with the Wonderful. ink. And don't forget these are a water-based polish as well which is why i put a bit of water down because what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to go in and splodge <laughs> oh you're right little splodger i am a, i'm a splodger there's lots of techniques though that you can do oh and look at that how fantastic already does that look that looks um, can you see that sparkle it almost fizzes it's so got oh, so much sparkle within it i love sparkle pens i love sparkle inks i love anything that sparkles i love a bit of bling i get a bit carried away <laughs> in fact i'll sit on an evening in my craft room, making backgrounds. Really? Literally, that's all I will do. And that's exactly what I've done. You can add a little bit more. You could use your inks for this, but I'm only using, I'm not even squeezing, Joe. I'm just dabbing it on and letting that come through. And you can see that lovely, I call it the splodge technique, because I can't think what else it would be called. Splodge technique. That's mm. what we're calling it. I'm sticking with it. Now, you let that dry, let it dry naturally. But so there's you lots wouldn't, of different could techniques. You, could you heat tool it if you wanted to? I can Go on then. Have we got enough time? I'll eat, I'll eat it. I'll eat it up. Not technically. Not technically. Thank you. I need a bit of more extra length. Oh, hang on. Well, get me some <laughs> well, extra I'll, length, do my, I'll do my best. <laughs> do you know what they like? So again, I'm just going to dry that off. Have I got the right? I've got the wrong setting. I need the higher setting. The heat setting. 
I look at your face and you crack me up every time. I'm saying nothing, <laughs> saying nothing. So all I'm doing is drying and eat setting it, but you can leave it to dry natural. Oh, natural. Stop giggling. <laughs> giggling again. Oh dear. I bet you I bet you love say I bet you love working with me, don't you? I do love it, yeah. I just never know what I'm gonna to get to. I have to be, you know, have to be on my gut on my toes really. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, bless you. <laughs> Uh, Evelyn says she loves her sparkle pens. Oh, lovely, Evelyn. So do I. I love mine as well. And the best thing I can what always recommend... What happens if it cockles like that? Ah, no, just turn it over. OK, perfect. Turn it over. You can see I've been stamping on the other side. But don't worry about it because this will flatten out. And I'll show you... When it cools, it when flattens, it, it? it does. Okay. And because that's exactly what I did with mine. But you can turn it over the other side and it kind of evens itself out, okay. if that makes sense. But let, I mean, that's lovely. That's that's all dry. All right. So let me just. Oh, thank you very much for giving me that extra little bit there. Now then, if I just pop that in, you can see now. Can you see that intense sparkle? I want to. Oh, come on, look at that. I just think these are phenomenal, and I can't believe we've got twenty percent off. Judy today. says she loves your splodges. Thank you, Judy. Uh, yeah, twenty percent off those five different options to choose from. I know I'm hearing a lot of you are multi-ordering those as well. Very, very busy on them. Do you want some? I'm looking for my cloth. I'm, I'm what are you done with month. it? It's like this Peter K thing. Do you know where you you make sounds? I'm looking for the do you cloth. Do, does anyone else do the things where the thing where you're call looking? Call me. Call me. He's, he's, you're looking for something or you're in <laughs> you're in the, you're in the car looking for an address and you turn the radio down because you can't see properly <laughs> <laughs> that's the one isn't it what difference does it make if the radios the music's on loud oh just turn that down i'll see if i can find it <laughs> but he's trying you to do it do. don't you we do joe we do now then let's show, have we got time to color the image in Perfect. Quickly, Perfect. I'm hearing. Quickly. Uh, Patricia Quickly. says she has all the sparkle pens and she's now collecting collecting the pots, so the uh, aqua tint sparkles as oh, well. So uh, you know, there's so many different ways of getting a hold of all of this glorious sparkly Isn't glitter that we just, have for you. There is, there is so many ways. Oh, I've had a little bit of a splodge there, but I'm not going to worry too much because that bit's getting covered up. You take your time. Obviously, I'm rushing because I've got time constraints now, uh, but you're going to be able to colour it up and you're going to be able to create some really beautiful cards of these. At that price, you can get your sparkle pens today with these stamp sets. And don't forget you get the expression words with it too. Yes. I just think it's a phenomenal deal. It really is. Let's Absolutely. Just getting this. very, very busy on the sparkle pens now. Uh, well, oh, you're putting just a little. I'm just putting a little blobby at the bottom. I'll, I'll dry it off if I've got time. If not, I'm not going to worry because I've done one that I made earlier. Okay, perfect. As we do, as we do in Crafty World. Now then, let me think. What colour can I have? Oh, I've got some more colours down here. Let's have a little play. Oh, I've got my lovely. Is that a dark blue? No, I've got pink. I'll have a pink gin in there. <laughs> which one of the um, stamp and dies? Which one is the most popular, producer Laura? Is it still the Angel Wings and the With Love? I know that was the one we had the least stock of, so we were worried about it. It was extremely popular. The presents and happy birthday has caught it up and I flown into the lead. So if you want that one now, you'll probably need to be quick for that one as well. And I'll tell you why, Joe, because what, how many times do we send birthday cards to people? We send them loads, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, we get a nice little two-tone bottom because you can do this. But can you imagine those? Can you imagine those presents? Been sparkled up. Well, I can't Ooh, imagine I tell you, to I, I, I tell you, definitely not. Now again, you could just. I'm going to let that dry naturally. Okay. But then all you do is put it together, and as if by magic, <clears throat> as if by magic. Let me just bring this in closer. I've just used a different sentiment, but <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I, oh, found, I found the other little bit. There you go. Using creative, and do you know what else I did there? I created it by embossing, uh, giving an embossing technique over the top. But you can see just by creating that, you create that beautiful. The sparkles, amazing. I don't know if you can see that sparkle. I'm trying to. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm thinking I'm going to catch the sparkle. You might. Absolutely phenomenal. They are beautiful. Can I just tell you, though, they are my definite star buy today, these £4. Pounds. Yes, for the price there. I mean, they Stamp are amazing. Dies in an the, I would. I, I think a lot of... I know I'm hearing a lot of you are going for all of these. If you went for all of them in the UK, they'd be £20. Pounds. If you went for all of them in the US, they would be $30. So a really great chance to get stocked up on them. If you want to go for them individually, of course you can. £4 pounds in the UK, £6. 
dollars if you're in the US. Don't forget about the sparkle pens. Great saving on those for you as well. Uh, Nineteen fifty if you're in the UK for the sparkle pens. Twenty six dollars if you are in the US. You've got a twenty percent saving on the sparkle pens as well. Very busy. Loads of you uh, commenting on the sparkle pens over on the Crafters TV Facebook page. Shall we? Yes. Why don't you grab a pen and a piece of paper and why don't we recap all the deals that we've guided you through on this Wednesday's Creative Craving show. We're going to start where we started with the Creator Card cut on edge dies. You've got three different options here. We still have stock of all three of them at the moment. The Mandala, you've got the Mendy, and you've got the Floral Dreams within there too. The Floral Dreams is the most popular there. Um, if you want that one, I would definitely grab it whilst we have it. We also have as well for you the Creator Card Essential Glue Kit. Now this is great because you've got the craft cardstock within here. You've also got the luxury cardstock pack ice blue. You've got the permanent tape pen and you've also got that with love sentiment die in there as well. All of that for $19.50 or $30, saving a quarter, which is wonderful to go with that previous item. We then had the nesting dies for you. These are this one here is the scalloped edge. Uh, you also had the uh, that scalloped edge square, you had the uh, hexagon scalloped edge and torn edge. You also had the circle scallop and stitch edge collection. The circle is your favorite one of them there. Very, very busy for that. 18 pounds or $23. 18 pounds gets you 18 dies. A pound per die is exceptional value for money. If you went for all three of them, it's almost like you're only paying for two as well because you're saving 30% mm. on that deal, which is fantastic. The Gemini is exceptionally busy as well. Don't forget you got 10% off of that. The other uh, item that we just showed you just a moment ago, uh, was these here, the stamp and die and expressions collection, um, which we've just shown you. Remember, if you go for all of them, they'll only cost you £20 in the UK or $30 in your US. That represents a 60% saving, which is amazing. So they should be £100 in the UK if you went for them all together, mm -hmm. or £20 individually, I believe. So a great saving there. £19.50 or $26 if you want to go for the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. You've got six different options to choose from, saving 20% across all of them. Definitely go check out the website for those, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, depending on where you are. Now, uh, we've had a very, very busy show, haven't we? Hello. Don't forget to check out the Large Gemini. It's on a 10% discount. However, the plate collection is going absolutely bonkers um, because this is a plate collection so you get all of them that you need you get the metal you get your two cutting plates within there your magnetic you get your rubber and you also get your uh, plastic shim in there as well all of them plus the storage bag wow. are there for you 45 pounds in the uk 60 dollars in the us stock up whilst we have that collection in stock because you've got a great saving compared to buying them individually. That is actually a 30% saving on those six Gemini plates. So grab them whilst we've got them. Whew, what an action-packed two hours <laughs> that was. Um, what have you got? Um, don't forget as well, whilst we're here, the Crafters Inspiration Magazine too. Loads of inspiration there. 75 projects for you to get um, get your crafty teeth into. Head onto the website to check that out. Debbie, what does your week ahead look like? I know Craig Ooh, is here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for Cartload. He is. I'm back on Monday for Monday Makers, but there's loads happening between now and then, isn't I know. there? I'm a little bit envious because our lovely Craig stepped in for me because I should have been there tomorrow night. However, right. I'm looking after our stars, so our Craig is yes. really excited to bring you a fantastic, and I can tell you fantastic, beautiful show great prices great products you've got to tune in at seven o'clock however sarah is down at crate and craft she is and that's where i'm going i'm heading down there the tomorrow one morning. year anniversary yeah. if you are in the uk it's make so sure exciting. you tune in to uh, yeah. the launch show tomorrow at 7 p.m yes. she is launching the brand new rose gold uh, yeah. gemini junior there's a whole host of things coming up i know you've got a pick of the day on saturday give us a sneak peek of that it's the uh, double-sided 
edibles this time. Wonderful. That'll be with Debbie. And then I know that there is also a pick of the week starting on Monday with that beautiful Lily collection, oh, which we've been teasing all evening. It's stunning. I'm so, I'm really, really, I'm, I'm going to be there with Sarah, but I'm so, I'm so envious that she's launching it. Nature's Garden and it's including flower forming foam for the yes, first, time first time as well, which is fantastic. Now, as always, we run just ask Joe, we pick a winner to win a £20 or dollar spend. And tonight is Rachel Rogers in the UK. So congratulations, uh, Rachel. £20 will be winging its way to you. I'll be dropping you a line on Friday to let you know how you can take advantage of that deal. Don't forget to get your questions in for next week's. Also, Joe wants to know, that will be going up uh, on Friday on our UK and US social media pages and on my social media. And this week, Joe wants to know, is it the month of love? your celebrity crushes, considering it's <gasps> Valentine's Day. Uh, so on enter. Monday, we'll be going through your celebrity crushes. I think this week, the most obscure one is gonna win the 20 pound, $20 Do you think spend. So? We did local customs and traditions last week and we got hundreds of comments. So I think, I wanna know your celebrity crushes for next oh, week. Who's God. your celebrity crush? I've got far too many to list. Can I you give me a couple? Oh, uh, so, oh, obviously for me, people like Richard Gere, George Clooney, oh. those kind of men are very, uh, I when know someone that went out with George Clooney many years no ago. No way. And you know them as well, I think. Do yeah. I really? You're going to have, we'll have to talk that about that, won't we, after the after show. After these cameras stop um, So Craig is here tomorrow night. Don't forget the launch of the Create and Craft uh, anniversary shows are also here tomorrow night. I'll be back with you on Monday for Monday Makers as well. Yes. Travel safely down to Peter. Thank you very much, yes. Uh, tomorrow. I hope you have a great time there uh, tomorrow and Looking over the to weekend. It. I'll see you back here on Monday. Take care. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day.